life. Ooh. <laughs> I don't Ooh. know what that was. <laughs> 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 All right, just cut it. This. End the stream. <laughs> <laughs> this has been great. We'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna be so professional, so prepared, and then just the noise came Ooh. out, and it's like, <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> Hello, and welcome. This is Tales of the Torn Veil. Look at that fancy new picture in the upper right. Yes, it is me watching over everybody. With my glasses, because I'm blind. <laughs> the tiniest smile as she watches us drown in this upcoming trial. Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> so good. The, I, I, well, I've informed the team of what happens if you do drown, so it's, it's quite okay. Um, but how are you guys doing? How's everybody doing today? Chat, let us... Chat, drop a sick comment telling us how you're feeling today. Uh... <laughs> Are you feeling excited for the for the hunt of adaptation? I freaking hope so. Um, and how are our wonderful players doing today? Awesome! <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> might help if I introduce them first. Uh, <laughs> that was the right answer. I don't right. get all the social media stuff. Don't pressure me. <laughs> so I did forget to mention last week what the secret introduction order category was. And the secret introduction category order for last week was indeed likely likelihood of beginning the session getting laid. Hey. Uh, hence why Ludo <laughs> was first. Hey. Then Bifong, Tarquin, and Dailuro. This week's will also remain a mystery, and I will try to remember at the end of the stream, so please remind feel free to remind me. Um but I will present this in an order again today. A mysterious Wait, I order. Could have gotten laid? <laughs> Nobody told me this. <laughs> Shit. Erwin was there all time. session, just still waiting. Time. <laughs> it's like so. Uh, no, I'm just I'm just chilling. <laughs> um, but yes, let us go in a particular order. Feel free to put your guesses. Uh, let's maybe go in reverse order. So, from least to most likely. Two. Let's go. I feel like Bifong would be, would be least likely. Hi, Bifong, introduce yourself. What does um, friends? <laughs> least likely to live? What? I, I don't, I don't we'll trust this orange witch over session. here. Well, hi. Bifong the stairs. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this is me. Wondering uh, what's in store for us this week. Apparently, we're going underwater. Yeah, that's it's always my favorite level, isn't it? Ice and water levels. Yeah, going great. <laughs> uh, but hi, folks. Good to see you all. Warm welcomes from Zibby Foam. Woo woo! Played by the wonderful Time Package! Ow, ow. Hello. <laughs> uh, next yeah. up. Hmm. See, it could be them, but I think. Mm, no. Tarquin, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, for everyone here, I hope you know my name because if not, we're gonna have a bad start and everyone is going to die. But uh, <laughs> apart from that, um, I am. <laughs> I am a great swimmer. I don't know why I'm in the middle, but uh, I hope I will survive. And, uh, ah, yes, I am played by Darian Audio, which is the person behind the character. And I don't know why I'm making oh. this voice, because it's not my voice, but I don't know. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Uh, I I rolled to see if I remember Tarquin. I rolled a natural two, so... Um, so you, you can remove that picture of you, and we can continue <laughs> with, without you. Thank you for your visit, and hope you have a nice day. My hand is disappearing! My mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Just the whole universe disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, 
Mmm, it's a close one. Oh, it's a God. close one. Oh God! I'm, I'm so what nervous. What do you think? The literal whole world turned the other way around. I was, what do you What do you think? Because there's an empty space there, right? So you can mean the empty space, that is, and we still get to see is, the lovely, beautiful town you made. Thank you. That is true. But now it is historically inaccurate. But that's okay. It doesn't hurt me. No, it's fine. You just gotta uh, watch it on beautiful. TikTok. Then it'll be mirrored. Yeah, and you've got protection from the waterfall because of your hat. <laughs> <laughs> It was meant to be. Um, Ailora, let's go with. Oh, this. God! <laughs> <laughs> it's close. It's close between the two of you. Hello, I'm Aloro. I am Woo! played by Nye. Nye! And I'm your favorite cat lady. Hell yeah. <laughs> Aloro. And... Cat creature. <laughs> Occasionally, just dead ass uh, displacer beast summoner. Um... <laughs> I bet it was cozy. Oh, it was cozy. It, it was really, so cozy. I've been thinking about croissant shaped like displacer beast plush pillow <laughs> more than I would like to admit. I um... wonder what happens when they despawn. Do you just like collapse down on your bed after that? <laughs> It's like, you love you 5,000 or whatever. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> they just, just like, pixelate away. I can't wait till we're so used to summoning all of them that they all have names. Uh, it's like, oh, I've summoned Pickles! Mm. And Pickles is dead ass, just panther. I don't feel so um, good, Mr. Aluro. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, that's what the cat gets for forgetting who Tarquin is. I feel like I could um, go any second, Meow. <laughs> oh, oh god. god you poor thing <laughs> and last but by no means least in fact technically most in this uh seemingly damn i rolled a two as well <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh wait i gotta roll <laughs> what's happening thank you for the bitties v thanks for the bitties v thank you b also v I haven't forgotten about you, by the way. Um, oh. I was meant I was meant to send you a message, and I totally forgot, but I haven't forgotten about you. Um, <laughs> last but by no means least, especially in this ominous order, one could say the most. Yeah. Ludo, hi. How does it feel being the most uh, likely once again after uh. a couple of weeks? I suppose it feels okay. A uh, little worried about what it could mean, but... I mean, it was a good thing last week. Yeah, but what are the odds it will be a good thing two times in a row? Um, have I been me? No, no. I am Luto. I am played by the Cardin Audio. I apologize for Woo! my uh, offensive accent. This is Cardlin playing his father. <laughs> Working out some therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe straight. I love the guy that came in last week. I hear Filipino, I follow. <laughs> oh, yeah, that guy is, I saw that. <laughs> we love Sorry, we love go on. Out some trauma in D &D. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, here for. I don't know what it means that mm. I'm playing my dad and he's getting laid a lot. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll ask my therapist about that one. <laughs> <laughs> ask, ask him how much he likes sausages. Um, <laughs> you rolled d20 for remembering Tarquin and got an 18. That is interesting Ooh. to know. Thank you, V. Um, very interesting to know. Very interesting to yes, know. Yes, very well. I'm um, proud. So, <laughs> let's go through and say hi to everybody in chat because after we get immersed, we will ignore you in a loving way just so we can be immersed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we love you, really. We promise. We promise, we promise. I go back and look at chat and I'm like, oh, you guys are so nice, but we're like really immersed in the in building sausage tower right now. So we can't, can't come to the phone building uh, the pork cutlass. Uh... <laughs> Leave a message. <laughs> Hello, vividly. Hello, Hiswani Yuki. Hello, ah, oh, and then JC said, Hello. Uh, hello, V. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Rihanna. Hello, 
Monty! Monty! Hey, Monty! Hello, Monty, my friend. Hello, Lady Scrub Audio. Thank you so much. Uh... Hello, Dime Package! I recognize that name. Uh... Yeah! I think that's everybody. And hello, Lurkers! We see you too. We appreciate you. We're not liking a creep. Mm -hmm. Just we, we appreciate you. Okay. We just appreciate you for being here. Um. Uh, uh, I don't know. I just suddenly turned into Matt Mercer because I was about to ask if anyone has like any merch announcements. Um, yes. <laughs> New emotes up from and then J season. Um, no, I was gonna say so new fr new friends plush coming out. Hey! It's it's available. <gasps> www.friendsplush.thisistotallyreal.com <laughs> <laughs> oh, one day, one day. <laughs> you joke now. It is purely manifestation. Um, but yes, we will get started with the session in a momentarily. Um, because there was something I was going to say. I can't remember what the thing I was going to say. Um, oh yes. Uh, for those who are afraid of the ocean, uh, feel free and please do look after yourselves. Uh, though we are purely, for the most part, imagery of the mind, theatre of the mind, uh, the mind may be uh, coaxed into summoning a lot of pictures of scary deep ocean. So, um, yeah. All jokes aside, though, um, if anything triggers you, if anything remotely makes you feel uncomfortable, please look after yourselves first and foremost. Uh, even if it's the sexy, sexy things, if it's any of that, please do look out for yourselves. If there's any considerable triggers that I can foresee coming, um, like ocean, um, <laughs> open ocean, um, and potential sharks in open ocean, um, as a random example, um, then I will give as much warning as I can. Uh, but yes, please do look after yourselves first and foremost. You don't have to explain yourself, but yeah, please do look after yourselves. Um, in all cases, the players also have routes to do this. Uh, yes, so open ocean, lots of it. Great. Right. But not, hopefully not for the whole session unless everyone drowns, but we'll see. Uh, time will tell. <laughs> um, we will also be using a map for uh, the hunt itself, you will not be missing out on much. <laughs> I've also explained this to the players. Uh, it's a really beautiful battle map that I found on Google Images and underneath lays Microsoft Paint worthy scrolls. Yes, I will share it after the stream because I know that in itself is an alluring promise. Um, but it, it Trust me, it is not that crucial that you see <laughs> that you see it. It will all be described, um, and the map might just confuse everybody. So we'll see. We're experimenting up in here. Um, but yeah. Uh, without further ado. Uh, also a quick hello to Blair Rose, sneaking in the last minute for the shout out. We appreciate you all for coming. And uh, let's get the session started. Are y'all ready? So ready. Yeah. Okay, then you I, I I appreciate that over the the silent treatment earlier. <laughs> 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 okay. I that. Oh wait, what? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Uh, if there's any way that we as the players can listen to the music this this time around, I would love that. But if it is not possible, that is okay too. It, it is in the general. There is a link for the watch together in the general chat. Okay. Um, but after we've done the hunt itself, I will be able to share the music with you guys in a traditional fashion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the Donkey Kong undersea thing on a loop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if you need music, just just Google the uh <laughs> Google the um Abzu uh OST. That's pretty much Ooh, that's there. a good choice. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'm going to also put this announcement in my Discord, because I totally forgot to do that. Um, <laughs> bit important. We live! We! Um, and without further ado, <gasps> let us begin <laughs> today's episode. 
Episode 3. Tales of the Torn Veil. Vale. I forgot that was this intro bit to this music. That's fine. There we go. Far across the world. Somewhere that technically none of us can see or are present for. Bells chime out as two royals celebrate their official union. The ceremony at the Corsicles, home to the bride, have gone down seemingly without a hitch. And her and her husband, born of the Isles of Ashsky, make their way to the vessel that shall carry them to these very floating isles we found ourselves and our ventures in. And what better way to herald their wedding than by holding a festival centuries old? The Festival of the Hunt. Oh, our group has easily conquered the first task and prepare for the next. Along their way so far, friend and foe alike have been made and suspicions of not only each other, but the very fabric holding the world intact have been raised. Last time a monument was built of sausages. There was a tent in which sausage euphemisms could be made. Secrets of this very next hunt were shared. And after turning into a cat, once again, Aluro managed to see a little sneak peek of the challenge ahead of them. The hunt of adaptation. An open ocean arena where five trinkets have been hidden, awaiting for any members of the remaining teams to find them. Their goal is simple. By the time that the winners of the event are counted, someone from each team, at least one person per team, must be holding a trinket in order for them to progress to the final hunt. Have our adventurers got the goal? Will they be able to swim or will they sink? Literally, I guess we're about to find out. Um, <laughs> but yes, the rules are simple and were announced by Icta Imbold and are about to be built upon slightly. Uh, since last week. <laughs> the rules are simple. Attend the ending ceremony of the hunt with a trinket. Don't go out of bounds of the arena. Don't go deeper than a hundred feet into the water. If you are in need of reviving, you will be healed and revived by the clerics, though you will not be able to re-enter the water. And with that, close your eyes, come with us to a world apart. Feel the wind in your hair, the salty taste of the ocean breeze on your tongue. And join us for episode three of Tales of the Torn Choose a hunt song words. So, you've been given a few minutes to prepare for your seemingly free dive plummet into the ocean below. You see a few other teams around you preparing for the, the same challenge. Some of them more hyped up and seemingly excited than others. Uh, I will also share the screen so you can begin to see the shit show that is the map. Can't wait. <laughs> Woo -woo. I've labelled everyone's names and it just it just makes me think of Avatar the Last Beeple. Because mm -hmm. it's just 
ATLB. <laughs> <laughs> Avatar, the last beef. Uh, yes, you see various teams uh, ready and willing to head to the next challenge. Other teams, however, seem slightly less eager. Uh, you see a group proactively shitting themselves, metaphorically, uh, about the free dive uh, approximately 3,000 feet into the ocean below. Um, you see a group um, made up of what looks like um, an orcish bloodline person, uh, a githyanki, a uh, feminine githyanki person, uh, a bugbear, and an orange tiefling. Uh, you see um, some humans, uh, seemingly sisters from the uniformity outfits and, and facial stylings. Um, you see a group with a satyr, uh, a drow descendant, and uh, seemingly a half-elf. Uh, you also see a team with a badger, a... Uh, the same, um, Tarquin and Naloro, you would recognize, um, one of the members of this team to be the woman with the very fancy dress, uh, that you didn't steal last week. <laughs> um, you also see a slightly macho, uh, kind of aggro broish ish uh, kind of a eagle person, if you will, um, wearing, um, a variety of leather armors, as well as a stealthy-looking gnomish person, but they, they seem a lot friendlier than the rest of their team. Um, is there anything you would like to do in minutes preceding the hunt? Uh, you see Ludo struggling with his big old arms to reach behind him to undo the lacings of his armor. Uh, I got almost. I, I... Need some help, big guy? Oh, thank you, Al. Yes, please. And Al starts to undo the the mess, and it started to re just immediately realizes, oh, this is really complicated. Why is everything tied up this way? <laughs> I do it normally. I try to undo it every once every uh, couple of months, but now I suppose kids were going in the water. Better to not have my big heavy armor. You make. Good point. <clears throat> oh, that feels nice. Wow. It feels good to not have armor. Wow. So light and free. He shakes free and maybe there's, uh, you know, more than a few specks of dust. Mmm. <laughs> it's just, just very dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Re asks a very important question. I thought he got full naked the day before. Oh, he goes full naked. The armor stays in one. <clears throat> the armor and clothing stays in one kachunko. Mm. Yes. They're like slip-on yeah, shoes. There's been a rest since <laughs> the day before. <laughs> Still got the armor. <laughs> um. Mm. As as I... you're. Oh yeah, please. Please go. Oh. Uh, Feel free to interrupt me. I'm the DM. Oh, the, uh, that's genuine, by the way. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> like sarcastically. <laughs> interrupt me. See what fucking happens. Like I'm not saying that. <laughs> 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 Please go ahead. Uh, Beefone's gonna look out in the crowd, and he's gonna see if he can spot Yanka and where they are, and what group well. they're with. Oh, where? Actually, they're probably not with a group. You do see, <clears throat> off to the side, on their own, Yanka Moss. Um, they seem to be rubbing some something of some sorts on their armor um, until they catch you looking and kind of just try to casually play it off and put their hands on their hips. I met you the other day, didn't I? That's not her voice, goddammit. <laughs> I just, I see gnome, I want to go Irish accent. It's my inner <laughs> stereotypes coming out. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, it's you. Met you the other day, huh? I didn't say I wanted to talk to you, but I was, yeah, oh, hi. She sees, she sees hey, you looking. How you doing? What's up? 
You, uh, friends with Tarquin? Oh, friends is a very strong word. Acquaintances. Wow. Sure. Ain't we all? Ex-roommates? Well, I don't know about that. Coworkers. Probably wouldn't fit in my house. No, not especially. Ah. Hang on, I'm gonna roll real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, specifically when I start something with I'm gonna roll real quick, that it probably... It probably has to do with remembering Tarquin. <laughs> what did you say? That's that, like a who... special role that uh, we have separate <laughs> from the others. Yeah. <laughs> it's the shiniest dice. What What was the name? Targo? <clears throat> Tarquin. Oh, oh! I thought you were talking about Targo. No, I ain't never heard of that person. I got a natural one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> At a certain point, we gotta, can't make this up. At a certain point, we have to assume you're doing it intentionally. <laughs> I, I promise you. I promise you. <laughs> Bifon's eyes narrow. Thinks to himself, you don't remember the person you remember. No, well, I, thought, I thought I well. thought you were talking to Targo about Targo. Wait, are you psychic? Could you hear what I'm saying in my head? Oh, I didn't know you were thinking in your head. Sorry. I was thinking, just... Please continue thinking in your head. <laughs> I was just trying to get a read on her because she seems to be, uh... She's one of those folks. I don't need a crew. I don't need anybody. I just need me. But she seems like a bit of a badass, so... You can, you can just wanted to see insight. if she was here and where she was. Yeah, you can roll insight or perception if you want. Mm. See what her deal is. Sure, I'll go perception. Yeah, that'll be more just like a outward look at her outsides rather than mm -hmm. her psyche. <laughs> 15 and 5, 20. Nice. 30, 20. Um, she... It's not that she's... It's not that she's wearing better armor. Um, her armor gives an air partly of higher expense. Um, but mm. also um, would suggest more experience. So there's a lot more dents and markings and some evidence of flame and claw and tooth uh, kind of Okay, so she's not just wearing it. a nice outfit to the gym. No, she's, she's wearing it. She's some work. Yeah, um, you can tell... That, that's all leading up to say, but you can tell from her outer appearances, uh, she's legit. Like, Tar Tarquin was fan not fangirling, but um, ad in admiration of uh, her work. Mm -hmm. And um, you can tell she is very strong, and the fact that she is going solo is less so a reflection of her being a lone wolf, um, and more so that in order to enter this hunt, she had to enter solo for it to be anywhere near fair. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a good... <laughs> thank you. Thank you, DM. That was a very good check. That's okay. You, uh... like, you rolled a, nine, 20, a dirty 20, man. I'm going to tell, tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's this um, concoction you're putting on your armor bear? Hmm. Wouldn't you like to know what did you not prepare? I might share um, it just, with you. Just asking. It's, it's, you know, seems interesting. Does it make you, like, glide a little bit better in the water? Roll a persuasion check. Wasn't really trying to persuade her. She doesn't want to talk to you. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Um... It's a six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always optional as well when I say to roll for something. It's like, if you're just like, no, I don't give a fuck. Don't oh, you no. Don't. Well, just because yeah. I'm just trying to talk to her doesn't mean that she isn't trying to keep something from me. Yeah, gotcha. But I'm, I might even be rolling against her trying to see what I'm up to. I'm, I'm, I'm beef on. 
I'm just like, yo, what's up? <laughs> I'm just Dude, before. How's everything going? <laughs> I'm over here just on the stairs. Um... I'm just over here. I'm on the stairs. I'm on the one. Like, wait, wait, what is this thing you got over here? You're putting all this slime on your on your armor there. Um, she kind of looks you up and down for a second, and she hands you the vial. Why don't you see for yourself? Oh well, damn. Might not trust what I say necessarily, so give it a go. Mm. Mm hmm. Hmm. You can inspect mm. the oil if you wish. Mm. You can sniff it. You can lick it. You can. I'm not smelling Steal that. It. Does it have a label on it? Steal it. Um. Do you speak no? I don't believe Steal you would speak it. gnomish. <laughs> <laughs> um. It does have a label on it, but it is in what you would believe to be gnomish. Oh, yeah, I have, like, slightly above average language. What would I have to roll for that? History? Ooh, or insight? Uh, how many... I want to know more about this. Yeah, because we haven't... I'm still working on, on languages, because I'm trying not to go to D&D core, because it's such a, like... It, it's not even that it's like, I want to I be different. It's like, no, there's, there's stuff, like, that specifically links to... Um, all of the different lore in D and D that might not actually uh, translate to this. Um, I yeah, I would say roll a straight intelligence check. So, a d twenty plus whatever your intelligence modifier is. Yeah, I'll allow it. Hmm. Oof, it's a big old two. <laughs> nice. So um, feel like you've seen this in a pharmacy somewhere, but it's, it's gnomish. You know, it's, okay, that's fine. You don't know. Yeah. It doesn't explicitly right. say poison that's... on it, though, so that's that's something. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't... I know I've seen this somewhere. It doesn't seem familiar to me. Uh, what is it exactly? Don't see why it would. I'll give it a try. It's, uh, it'll help with your armor. Yeah, flow. I mean, if you're recommending it, then yeah, sure. Take a look. Dabs a little bit of it on the little bits of armor he has. Is, it, is this mostly like, like for, for like metal or is this good for leather too? I haven't tried it on metal. It'll probably be fine. Oh, I thought she was wearing metal. Never mind. It's, so it's mostly... Ignore that. I rub it on the leather. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's fine. It's mostly like a thickened studded leather. Um, but yeah, she isn't like explicitly only rubbing it on the metal bits. So the majority uh, is leather. Yeah. Keep it light. That's how I like it. All right, yeah. Dab a little bit of this on there. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. And good luck to you. I mean, not that you even need it. Hmm. Well, who knows? I might. Say, are mm. you a healer? Dabble, but I don't really heal so much as smash oh. with a giant club. You know, I give you free ointment. You, uh, Help out if I look like I'm in a sticky situation. That seems fair. I already have the oil. Oh, so it would be the nice thing to do then, wouldn't it? I'm a nice guy, what can I say? <laughs> no, I could trust you for a reason. All right. See you in a bit. And, uh... Be careful around the fish. That one's for free. And she kind of clicks her teeth and walks off. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, guys? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. 
Oh, Gal over there, she's kind of nice, actually. What are you guys up to? Do you, do you need... You 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 got that, Loro? Okay, Widow looks like he needs help over there. Be careful. <laughs> I'm getting better. He says from sure, inside chap. of his his uh, he says from inside of his armor as he's slipping out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to stretch before an activity. <sighs> Very good point, Tarquin. Are you guys very good swimmers? I'm not very... I don't always swim a lot, but I like the water. I'm, decent, I'm not I much of a swimmer either. Uh, don't worry, my friends. I am a great swimmer. So oh. I have you covered. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. Excellent. Very aerodynamic talk. Oh uh, yes, I am the king of the seas. You Talk are? Me. I guess, yes. <laughs> in your head, you, you recall uh, a slight bit more of the story that you told last session. About the Kraken? Yesterday, about the Kraken. Oh yes. Uh, you, you remember ramming into it with a galleon that you were captain of. Of course. Um, you pierced it right above its mouth, just sliced away at its beak, broke all of its teeth with your with your great club, and just absolutely wrecked its freaking day until the water around it was black with its blood. Yes, and I also oh, choked him out with his own tentacles. Whoa. And you also choked him out with his own tentacles. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that also definitely happened. Mm. I'm glad you're on our side. Wow. Yeah. No joke. These other teams don't stand a chance. Um, we are the winners already, my friends. Let's just play. From behind, you can just hear, <laughs> Hey, I'm still in the fight, you guys. What the heck? And you see Amelia walk over and plant a very firm, hard, scaly hand on Luna's shoulder. Millie, Millie! How are you guys doing? You ready for the uh, big swim? Mm -hmm. Mentally preparing. I'm, yeah. I'm used to swimming for fun on the beach, have good time. This is uh, different. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm kind of excited for the swim. I gotta say, less hype about the 3,000 foot drop. Uh, what? Well, we've got to get into the ocean, right? Oh. And there are no boats here. They're not going to no bring us down there on a nice little plane or like some kind of boat? Absolutely not, no. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we're just going to drop all, all I mean, the way down there. They'll protect us so we don't die, but... uh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, plummeting is part of the fun. Yeah, apparently. that's fine. That's f of course. <laughs> so much fun. Hey, big guy. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, Ludo, gonna sit down and have you a lot of fun. Your, you can, you, bro. You can use your hat as a parachute, my guy. Okay, use my hat. Super cool. Use hat as a parachute. Parad Might break it though. So Par maybe. Paradise hat. Might see some flying fish on the way down that you can grab. Okay, yeah, fish. That's good. I like fish. Um, she she sees she sees friends on uh wherever friends currently is is uh, residing. Um, I imagine on Ludo's shoulder somewhere. Um, now that the armor has been sorted, um, and she's like, "Hey, what's up, friends? <laughs> hey, are you guys gonna use friends when you get down there? Friends coming with you?" Friends, do you know how to swim? Uh, his friends. eyes just kind of separate slightly. <laughs> <laughs> he could very well fly above you. Okay. Yeah, couldn't he just dart down when you need him? Yeah, yeah. Friends, we're going to go down there. See? All the way down there. 
we're going down there and then you're going to just be a, uh, wherever. Would you like me to help explain to friends? Oh, yes, please. Please. You can talk to friends? <laughs> I can talk to friends. Oh, I thought, uh, friends. I thought they only understand me. Vocal <laughs> <laughs> time for me. Make a I'm gonna cast speak with animals. Oh, you are? I <laughs> am. On, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be acting as a seagull every single chapter, you know? That. Yeah. <laughs> right? All because of one throwaway line of how I happen to see a seagull it when was, I get the. It, it was a natural 20. I could not let you keep the seagull. Just three weeks from now, it's just gonna be. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tales of the Tornvale. Tales of the Tornvale. My name's Katie. Uh, friends is gone. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. So you're casting speak speak with friends. Speak with animals. I'm, I'm casting speak with friends. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. We're doing this thing again. We are. We are doing this thing again. You see the big drop over there? No. I'm only little. That's true. Can we take a take a little field trip? Peer over? Everybody? Can walk. And, uh... Don't want to. Okay. Well, there's a big drop into the ocean and that cool. is where we are headed do you See? think that you could you could fly with us can fly you no you you fly you i fly, fly with us can you <laughs> no <laughs> no unfortunately friends i cannot fly <laughs> you see a look of uh, dubiousness crosses his face. Just the seagull, seagull presses X to doubt, just unsure <laughs> about this whole operation. Um, we jump. Mm, seem bad. We, we jump big. We'll die. Drop. We'll die. No die. No die. We strong. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're hungry, and Ludo will produce some kind of meat from some kind of pocket and uh, begin to feed it. Not not quite force feed it, but just definitely mush it into Friends' face. I hate you. <laughs> dad nice. No one dead died. No one die. Hopefully. Or dead husbands. Dead husbands? Dad husbands. D d dad husbands. He, he looks around to the group. Oh, my husbands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Seagulls believe in harems, I... apparently. <laughs> I'm not going to correct it. I'm not going to correct it. <laughs> Wait, please, please don't, Allura. We have to go. <laughs> what one to do? All right, I think... Me fly? You fly. Yeah. You fly then with what? us, Ocean. We pick Go up Shiny. Me swim? You swim if you want swim. Hmm. You want swim? Don't know. Water warm? Water... Unsure. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I Possibly. think I've... 
I think I've I've done what I can in terms of explaining the situation to our dear friends. Me fly, my trip. You're you very fly, good for your tita. Very good for your tita Aluro. Very good. And I pat, 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 pat. Right on the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I love friends. <laughs> friends are so good. Friends loves you too. <laughs> All right. Anything else you would like to do? We have a little bit of ointment. We have some people all around. You see mm. uh, Octol and Umberlie in a corner of of the place without corners. You see them over to the side, kind of towards the front of the uh, crowd that is beginning to gather to watch the event. I'll do a I big wave. I would love wave. to see... Okay. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, just, just a big wave, that's it. Oh, big wave, okay. I would love to see yeah, Octo, but I need to do one thing first. I need to roll a persuasion check. What for? Let's see what it is. I like your oh. mysterious rolls. Oh. Like, I'm a roll. Okay. <laughs> Seven plus three. Well, because I don't want to say the thing. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, no, it just doesn't go the way you just described it, before. <laughs> gotcha. As a matter of fact, you fell all the way down to the bottom <laughs> of the stairs. Yeah, I would like to uh, do a flip in the air. It's like, great, you rolled a three. So what happens is there are <laughs> tiny islands on the way down from the islands, and your, hit, your face hits all of them. <laughs> But so, you can flip while doing that. So, <laughs> yeah, gotcha. It's a ten, but I gotta do my best. Hey, mm -hmm. Ubo. Huh? You feeling all right? Yeah, it's just uh, I like swimming. I like adventure. I don't like falling a lot. I don't know. Does everybody like falling? I don't. I feel like maybe more people should be uh, concerned about this. I, I am too. Remember the slingshot? Oh, yeah. The slingshot was okay because it was going up. Some reason going up is okay. Going down... A across. Aye, aye, aye. Up, yeah, down. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hey, Ludo. Huh? I'm a man of few words, but... There are a lot of fish down there. Get my meaning? Oh. A lot of fish. This we is going to be totally worth it. We can eat so good for so long with all that fish. Diverse fish. Oh. We're gonna eat all of the fish. Just fill your mm -hmm. pockets as much as you can. Let me know if you need, if you, if you get full. I'll fill my pockets too. Uh, DM, I, so I've got that little, little mini fridge <laughs> yeah. of, 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 of holding. What happens if I open it underwater? It will fill with water, and the water will get cold. Okay, I, I so I, what, <laughs> what I'm what I'm trying to ask is, I assume just Ludo being Ludo, in the past he's tried fishing with it, like getting close to a fish mm. and then opening the door and like vacuuming yeah, him in like Kirby. Like, yeah. Okay, I can Kirby and fish you with the just, fridge. Okay. Yeah, I I would imagine it would just be a case of like, because I mean bags bags of holding. As as unhomebrewed can hold a fuck ton of stuff, um, so I think it would just be a case of like slightly holding the fridge door open, not so much that the fish can come out, but then just occasionally emptying the fridge so you can fit more fish in. Excellent. Then uh, Ludo is focusing on that to distract himself from the gigantic fall. Nice. Best thing to do with a tan. Fish, just pat plans. him on the back and just, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna do this. Thank you, Bifon. We we can do this. All right. So much fish. <laughs> so what is Octo aren't they out of the game? They are, yeah, but they're part of the audience. Mm. Oh, I just want to go over and give Octol a big old hug, say hi, Aww. come to root for us. 
That's, That's my boy. a hugs over a free action. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah, you go go over and give him a hug, and uh, sees you coming over. Ah, before. Long time. Well, it feels like a long time. It's not really been that long, has it? I see you with a chest again. The chest? <laughs> yeah, you were missing one last time I saw you. Ah, yes. Um, I thought you were talking about Umbly for a second. She elbows. <laughs> <laughs> I just give her finger guns. And... Uh, she she kind of hides her face away like someone who met you at a party. Um, but doesn't <laughs> quite know what to say because you're like kind of dating one of their friends and it's like it's, ki it's kind of awkward but she, you know that's she's... why I gave her finger guns because she's kind of dating one of my friends <laughs> I mean, feelings mutual do, does <clears throat> does he feel um, an octo just looks over at her like <gasps> you two are dating well I d did 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 he say we were dating uh, he didn't say anything, um, but no worries. But, uh, but do you think we're dating? She mm. doesn't seem <laughs> aggressive so much for once, as much as she seems um, like she's in the middle of a nightmare and would like to know very much <laughs> what the perception so, is. Let's go. Them. Let's go ahead and amp this nightmare up a little bit, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Look, all I can say for certain is he definitely does like you. Darling! Uh, um, uh, Octo, we should Ludo, go over here. Ludo, you see, you see Umberlai, red as a fucking rhubarb. Um, I, I don't think rhubarbs are red. I'm thinking of radishes. I got them mixed up earlier. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been one of those days. <laughs> um, uh, Octo looks to you, Beef and goes, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going <laughs> to see this. Um, I've missed this all so far. Um, I was trying to be polite. I do too. And Bifon sits down next to him. And <laughs> his legs, so, yeah, puts yes. his hands on. Um, I have some um, some pork crackling for this show. You can have Ooh, a couple of bites oh, if you don't oh, think oh, it would weigh oh, you down oh, too much. To be honest, go for it. This is not um, a problem. So, Ludo, you make your way over. No, no, I'm, I'm from all the distance. I'm just yelling. Oh. Luto, good luck out there. Darling, I gotta jump all the way down there. Am I gonna die? Um, um, no, you won't die. Thanks, baby cheeks. Big um, thumbs up, big double thumbs mm, up. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, <laughs> roll a perception check Ooh, for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool name, I like it. I mean, he might see it. Doesn't mean he's gonna understand it. As far as he knows. Let's see. Perception check. Oh, that's a nat one. <laughs> I was I was jokingly about to say no offense, but please roll low because that would be really funny. Um, she tilts her head down. Her face goes even more red, and it looks like she's kind of got a bald fist up to her mouth and. She's not making eye contact, and she's kind of coughing and clearing her throat a bit. Um, she looks like she's choking. <laughs> oh, Tar Queen, like, look, she's so in love with me, huh? Heike, she's yeah, choking can and cannot breathe. She cannot breathe. <laughs> it is getting urgent. She cannot breathe. Nobody around her is doing anything. Before, okay. help my girlfriend. Should we... Should we help her? She, uh, um, Bifon, with your passive perception, you know that she's just very embarrassed. She's totally fine. She's just, she <laughs> oh wait, you're saying I herself. think she's choking? Yeah, Ludo, oh. you specifically with ah. your with your natural one <laughs> think she is choking. Wait, wait, no, I think it's more than just love. Oh, she's choking on love, and I start sprinting over there. <laughs> oh God, this poor girl. Baby cheeks, I'm coming. <laughs> Ludo, what, 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 are you, what are you about to do, buddy? Uh, I mean, What's if she's on? choking, uh, he's yep. got to give her some healing of chicken, some chicken noodle soup healing. Oh, God. So he'll sweep her off her feet, bend, bend her down like they're ballroom dancing, and bust out his flask and start force-feeding her some chicken noodle soup. Not a day goes by where she just 
can be clean <laughs> and happy. Hip warm. <laughs> it's the hip can temperature I, can of I hip. attempt to save? Um, if you want to. You, I'd like to roll a performance check <laughs> that I will <laughs> intercept Ludo and do a little spin with him and um, continue to dance with I, him. I think at this point it will have to be just a dexterity throw because Ludo is genuinely going over to save her life and he yeah. will need to be stopped with genuine force. Um, Octo will put a hand on your knee just like a, no, 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 let's see what happens. <laughs> um, oh, it rolled pretty but, good. Yeah, please, yeah, please both roll uh, dexterity. Oh, me too, okay. Uh, yours will be your dexterity saving throw, yeah. Conte contested. Oh my okay. god, PvPA on episode three, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> that is an eight. I rolled an eight, plus zero eight is eight. Beat. Eight to beat. Oh, it was eight. Uh, be fun, rolled a 21. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't yeah. necessarily stop him as, as I just intercept him and kind of do like a little spin. I spin him out like we're doing some ballroom dancing. I spin him back in and then, you know, just... <laughs> Push him back a little bit, just to slow him down. I'm not trying yeah. to stop him. I'm just trying yeah. to slow him down so he doesn't my... put the chicken soup directly down her throat. Yeah, my <laughs> question would be, is the chicken soup open at this point? Uh, it's, it's gotta be open. <laughs> Splish and splash while he's exactly. running, it's gotta be open. It's, it's I mean, knows. they are in the front row. I know the ocean's 3,000 oh, no. feet down, but <laughs> they are in the splash zone. Um, yeah, chicken noodle soup. Um, the entire front row, um, Octol shields in time uh, oh, oh. To, <laughs> to save himself. <laughs> um, joyfully gleeful at everything that is occurring. Um, and once again, um, in, the, in the beautiful dress that uh, was stolen <laughs> for her, mm. um, Umberlai is once again um, covered head to toe in... Um, something that is not ideal uh at least in her situation uh she just tastes a bit um which is i guess something as she, as she screams seeing it seeing you <laughs> barreling towards her um Does she get any I of guess... it in her mouth <laughs> yeah a little bit okay yeah. that's good uh, just just a couple drops um <laughs> most of it goes uh just the neck area like the like it, it the worst place you can spill something because it like goes a little bit in and also a little bit on and it's just uncomfortable this is is bad is bad place um yeah she's uh healed for 13 if it's any compensation um i don't think that heals humiliation points <laughs> um hey let go of ludo thank her for the dance Say, hey your boyfriend's here and mouth the words I tried. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, sit back down. You look like you were choking. I had to make sure that you were uh, safe. Um, in in a strange way, because of the chicken noodle soup, it looks like she's vomited all over herself. <laughs> oh my god, you got sick. Oh. Ludo. Uh, um. What? Yeah? Mm -hmm. she, she's agitated agitated is the right word um she <laughs> like very very robotic movements of of her uh neck and head what are we to you uh what do you mean i win you in the, the contest and now you're my lady what is your lady uh, well, we, uh, like to have fun. We mm -hmm. do kissing, kissing, humping, humping. We probably one day going to get married, have a bunch of kids. So you're thinking of marriage? Well, one day after I, you know, make the world a better place. Why? What about you? Don't you all? I thought you make an agreement with the people, and then now in the contest, you're my lady. Well, I mean, it was for an event. It wasn't for a, a 
lifelong commitment. But oh. not that I'm opposed. I just... I can't help but feel things aren't going well. Oh, is it because of the chicken noodle soup? That. The orange juice. The champagne. Yeah, you always get a lot of stuff spilled on you, huh? I'm glad you noticed. I I don't understand what you're saying. Are we no longer... I'm your man, you're my lady? No, it's, it's not that. I... I look back I just... at Bifon like, help. What did I do? Did I, am I doing something wrong? What happened? Octol's just sadly eating his pork, pork crackling. Just like he's watching a soap opera. Well, uh, we gotta go jump in the water now. I'm sorry about the noodle soup. I just thought... I... I... I don't... Uh, I'm sorry. It, I'm sorry. It did taste, it did taste good. Okay. <laughs> Less of this would be really fantastic. Or at least warning, so I can bring multiple spare clothes. Okay. With me. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think they're starting now. Right, yes. Bifon? All right, Octo. I'll see you later. Been a pleasure as always, my friend. Shakes your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, um, let, let's get you. Uh, you can borrow one of my robes. Wait, really? No, absolutely not. We'll, we'll find you. <laughs> <there>. um, <laughs> and uh, they both walk away into the crowd, and um, just just before they disappear, uh, Umberlight turns around to you. Oh, um, and you. All of the team's general direction. Uh, good luck out there. <clears throat> and kind of looks around to see if anyone noticed to say that, and then walks, <laughs> walks, up, continues walking away. Um, uh, thank you. I give a very warm smile. Yes. As we uh, walk <laughs> back to the rest of the group, Ludo yeah. slams a big arm around Bifon's shoulder. I just don't understand the ways of the heart. It's not to you to understand. Just go with the flow. I thought I was, and then the flow is end up spilling the chicken soup all over her. It seems like every time I try to do something nice, I always just spill all over her. It's the journey, my friend, not the destination. Ah. Huh. It's the journey. You're right. Thanks, Bifon. No problem. Meanwhile, Tarquin and Alora, are you getting up to anything? While this is all going I on. I think Team Steel. Alora is just tightening up their leather armor and getting ready. Nice. nice. Yeah, I'm just getting ready for the dive. And flexing some muscles to kind of get attention from the crowd. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do a roll real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, big money, no what? Oh, oh, oh. Um, oh shit. Um, you see, um. A couple of competitors uh, from the other teams kind of notice your flexing. Uh, one seems to be uh, kind of a slightly more olive-toned skinned uh, human woman with kind of this dark, almost streetwear-like uh, leather armor on, uh, kind of with a hood up. And you also see um, the human cleric who had the fancy uh, the fancy dress uh, from the, the you didn't steal. Um, <laughs> just the 
the notable feature. And uh, they both kind of take notice. Um, the uh, street where human, human lady kind of looks you up and down, sees, sees the flexing, sees the muscles, kind of gives a knowing smile. Um, the other person um, makes their way over, uh, the human cleric, with, with the dress. And uh, you see that they're wearing uh, quite lovely, fashionable kind of cleric garb. It's almost more uh, cloth clothing with hints of armor rather than um, pure clothing or purely armor. And they walk up to you and go, Tarquin, right? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Fancy, fancy lookings. That is... Uh... Very colorful clothes. Are oh. you sure you're going to be able to swim in that? Oh, absolutely not. Um, but hey, um, how are you doing? Uh, oh. Tarkin, I would like you to roll. Yes. <laughs> a history <laughs> check. History. For me, please. Oh my 13. god, is this a counter recognize it's roll? It's a counter, oh it's my a god. counter recognize roll. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, is that the 13? Um, you definitely feel that you've m met her before even the whole event yesterday. Um, you don't fully remember a name or anything considerable, but you feel like you met them uh, at a tavern one time. Um, and generally, when you're in taverns, you're likely telling your heroic tales uh, of heroism, um, which is like obviously likely why she remembers you. Uh, do you remember me from the tavern near Osprey? Mm, yeah, I think I do. I, I'm i sorry, but it's just that I've been traveling across the world so much that I've seen so many faces. But honestly, I remember yeah. yours. So that is a very good thing. <gasps> really? Yes, you yes. the letter you wrote for me? Um, the letter, uh, yeah, I wrote uh, letters in the past, yes. Uh, <clears throat> well, do you, do you um, like my letter? <laughs> uh, yeah, my father liked it a lot. Thank ah, um, and what did he say? Uh, he said, thank you, I like this letter a lot. Uh, he's a guy of few words. Mm, um, yes. I was just wondering, because uh, you arm wrestled that Kraken into submission, right? Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, you told the story where you arm wrestled a Kraken. Yes. Became a queen of the Harpies for like a week. Yes, 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 I did. I, I, I assume there won't be any sea monsters in here, right? Well, I don't know, but you'd be fine if there were, right? Like, that's the whole reason you're here, I assume. Oh, so I have to fight a giant monster while everyone else go find the treasures. I, that, that's the idea. I get well, it, I, I get it. I, I don't know. I'm just another competitor in this, so I don't know what to expect. Um, I was just wondering... Um, I couldn't remember how it was you infiltrated the Harpies. Because, like, I know that you said they were all usually, like, feminine. Mm -hmm. But you were just like, oh, there was this really cool way that I, like, managed to infiltrate. And I just, I couldn't remember what it was. Could you remind me? Um, well, I used a couple of socks uh, in front of my chest. And then... Uh, I tied my hair and, and, I don't know, I pretended to be a lady, and it worked. 
in your mind, Tarquin, uh, like just part of your brain resonates with the idea that you didn't have to try. They were just impressed with you and they let you in. There was no kind of extraneous other circumstance to it. It's just a natural talent that I have. A stuffing up bra? Um, no, not really. That was just something I learned once because I needed to infiltrate some place. But um, never mind. I, I, I have a, a way of uh, convincing people. I guess everyone just naturally likes me. You know, I had to tell everyone on my team about you. They didn't know who you were, which I thought was crazy. Um, uh, none of them well, your team me. isn't a very smart team, you know. Well, if they if they ever change the rules and we need a fifth, you should come with us. Oh, I bet you say that to all the girls. Um, no, I don't think I do. Well. Roll a persuasion check for me. <laughs> or deception. Deception. <laughs> I, I like deception. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. Even though I should roll perception because I have more, but let's just keep it roleplay. We do uh, deception. Hey, we we here with the we here for the roleplay vibes. Oh my god, it's a six. Well Oh she no might, She might not be the sharpest tool in the ship. Oh I also got six rollies! <laughs> Rollies! Roll again, roll again, roll again. Mm. Let's go. Oh. Uh, two to beat. <laughs> nine. Nice! Damn, nine is bigger than two! Um. Oh! Um. <clears throat> uh, wow. That's. That's really nice of you. Um. Gosh. <laughs> Well, I might see you down there, so uh, maybe we can help each other out, make sure we both get a trinket or something. Hey, uh, as long as the team that I'm working with wins, I don't mind helping you. Oh, gee, thanks. Um, oh my gosh, I'm such a big fan. Um, anyway, uh, awesome. I like um, her. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you down there. We'll see each other down there, yes. Yeah, Please be safe. A bit more wet next time we that came out. I'm really... And that is usually I'm something gonna... that happens. I, I mean, sorry. Um, what? I, uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> um, she's gonna roll the constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's, she's alright. She's alright. She hasn't gone down. Um, <laughs> yeah. She, she, she just kind of, instead hey. of like collapsing or like needing to lean on something she just kind of like half turns to walk away and then remembers oh um i'm luca by the way and holds out her hand it's a pleasure of course always i <laughs> will give her a, a kiss on the back of the head on the, of the hand and uh, and wave her goodbye after that oh it's such a good job octal's not here just you just hear the <laughs> heartbreak. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you down there. <laughs> she just, just yeah, she just giggles away, and you just see oh, yeah. the eagle guy going, "The fuck are you laughing about?" Just like, oh, nothing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what's the plan? <laughs> um, yes. So the team rejoins. Back together. What do we do? What do we do now? Got a couple minutes before we start the mission. Well, team, shall we strategize? Lura looks up at everybody. Oh, uh, like what? Well, we might want to be, you know, covering a certain amount of ground. Yeah. I don't know if we wanted to plan swimming out in different directions or if we're just going to hop into it. 
Hmm. Should we go in pairs or individually? Let's stay close. Also, how are your cats going to do underwater? <laughs> I am definitely not bringing them. <laughs> oh, just checking. It's underwater. I think they are meant to be outside of the oh, water. No. <laughs> How did you do that sound? <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. <laughs> you, just, you just, you like when you when you're talking to a baby and you just like put your do your finger up and down over your lips and then you just go. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Bring it in. Impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Again, I'm wonderful. Uh, That's so good. Uh, Key Garland so auditioning good. for Drowning Cat. Uh, take one. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. It's not that idea too much. Uh, if we have enough time, I can make like a little fishbowl helmet thing for them. So yeah, how should we separate? As a matter of fact, we have things that we need to find. So maybe we have we... to figure out exactly. Mm -hmm. Maybe we divide up into groups of two and head in two different directions, and from there, people can swim farther off. But that way, we at least know that we have. Like the two different directions covered. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, each of our pairing should have a healer. Uh, Al, can you? Do you know how to heal? I have very limited healing. <laughs> um. Mm. Same. Tarquin, you know the gal you just met, Luca, is a cleric. Putting that out oh. there. But we cannot take her with us, so. <laughs> no, but she's definitely smitten. So we could borrow a potion or two, maybe? Oh. Mm. You can certainly try. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that for damn, sir. Well, I have to <laughs> dust off my charms again, I guess. <laughs> Charge. I mean, would that work if we're drowning? Like, we we take a sip and there's air in our lungs again or something like that? Would that work? Like, taking potions? Everybody in the group roll an intelligence check. <laughs> because it's... One thing is health and another is mm, air. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Intelligence. That's a two plus zero. Awesome. Uh, br eleven. Plus uh, one, eleven. That's just a miss, unfortunately. Thirteen for Aluro and eleven for Bifon. Okay. I'd say with a thirteen, Aluro. You, it's a basic statement, but you know that uh, health potions heal. They don't restore any other kind they don't like uh heal debuffs or anything so while you should be able to drink a potion underwater it might not do anything other than heal hit points which you can relate to the team <laughs> via what the what the team said <laughs> or you can keep it secret Well, I guess um, I guess I'll go talk to one of my friends and see if they have any advice for us. But I think that we should uh, kind of stay together and maybe separate in teams of two, like we said, but not wander too far in case uh, one team needs to help the other. <laughs> Absolutely. Who are our healers? Would that be Ludo and Tarquin? Do you have uh, the ability to heal? 
Uh, no, I do not, unfortunately. So I would require some tools or other things that will allow us to regain our strength. If you think that you might be able to get potions from that cleric, that's not a bad idea. Perhaps we can give that a use if I can convince them to hand at least one or two to us. Do you go over to Luca? Yeah, and I, I'm gonna go over there and see if I can get at least one potion for our team. Yeah, you you see this uh, like seven foot tall, just very angry eagle person, uh, arm wings wing arms folded as you approach, um, and Luca sees you also approach and kind of approaches approach approach approach. Um, oh, hey, Tarquin. Um. Well, wow, it's been so long since I last, uh, last saw you. Yes, I was already started to missing you. But, um, oh. I was wondering if, um, you know, like we sp spoke before, that uh, I was going to help you if you ever need it, and I was wondering if you could help me as well, with a little something? Uh, sure. Name, name the price kind of drives you further away from her group. <laughs> oh, well, the thing is, um... You know, when you travel a lot and you have so much adventure and fighting and all of that, you usually carry potions to restore your health and be strong again. And I happen to have forgotten the last one I had and I just don't have any more potions. So I figured uh, such a big fall with probably some sea monsters lurking around, I should have at least one. So do you have one I could borrow maybe? Feel free to roll either a persuasion check or put on your best charming action and roll a performance check. Let's see. Um, Just a hair flip. <laughs> Slow um, hair. I'm going to go with, I'm sorry, persuasion, you said? Yep, persuasion is also. Or yes. what, which was uh, the other one? Performance or persuasion. I have the same in both, so uh, I'm just <laughs> which, gonna roll. Which flavor are you gonna go? Are you gonna do just a persuasion? I'm gonna try to persuade her. A little bit of a gentle small dude. Just cheese, eighteen. <laughs> Ooh, nice. With an eighteen, um, she looks at you. Oh shit! <laughs> she looks at you kind of looks back to her group and says don't tell anyone okay <sighs> I won't say anything about this um, she hands you a uh, small uh, I always forget the difference between them all but the the, the weakest version of potion of healing um, and also a potion of Water breathing. Ooh. There is only one dose of it left, but it will mean that whoever, whomever will drink the potion, will not have to worry about sitting or drowning. Nice. For like an hour, at least. So if you oh, that is wonderful. For an hour, then work. Probably give that to our strongest swimmer, which is. Eww. Dark wave. Dark wave. Yeah. I, like that, I like that you said witches with such a big smile on your face. Like, I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's Don't like the sound effect of a smile. <laughs> yeah. If if I get into trouble, can you stick around and make sure I'm okay? Yes, of course. You help me, I help you. That's how it works. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Please don't tell the others, they'll be so mad at me. <laughs> a then... gentleman never tells. Like one of my, like one of my friends says. <laughs> oh, that's so profound. Um... Yeah. Uh, and maybe I'll see you in the final then, after this. Oh yes, I hope so. Let's help. Well, I have to return to my group. I oh. really appreciate this and... Um, yes, of course. Thank you again. And this God will be a little seed. secret. Yes. 
And well. kind of, she kind of waves like a woman in like, <laughs> in like those war movies who's like, no, goodbye, husband, as like he gets on the ship to go out to war, just like reaching a hand out, just, oh. <laughs> so far, <laughs> so, so fast. Um, <laughs> yes, and you return to the team with good news. Um, you have a single health potion and a single dose of potion of water breathing. Well, my friends, the plan is working just perfectly. I have a healing potion, which would be kind of useful if we run into some trouble. And I have a small breathing potion for the good swimmers out there that don't want to drown in the middle of the competition. Nice. Alright, everybody, so, remember, make yourself into a bit of a dart, tighten up your asshole just before you hit the water, and you should be fine. Tighten up, <laughs> asshole. Okay. Yeah. Put your arms straight down, your legs straight down. You're gonna, you want to cut through the water when you hit it. Oh, maybe I use my hand. You'll be fine, friends. Water's hard. You might not want to go in head first. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, are you ready to go? Let's do it. Are you fucking ready to go? I'm ready. <laughs> ready to go. I'm gonna drink um, the potion before we do anything. Yes, of course. We, and uh, yeah. Are you, yeah, we, are you keeping we good with that? Potion? I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Sweet. Definitely. Um. Okay, and. Are you keeping the healing potion, Tharkly? Yes. If anything happens, I'm gonna go straight towards the person that needs it. What if it's Luca? What if what if Luca and then a friend are both in trouble at the same time? Sorry, okay. Oh decisions. <laughs> so either way it will end in heartbreak. So you see your competitors lining the kind of uh, horseshoe uh, layout of small islands and cliff edges around this waterfall that is falling directly onto Luto's head in the, in the stream setup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you see competitors kind of stretching out, mentally preparing um, as everyone lines up and the audience gets tentatively quiet you see once more uh, your approach kind of climb up the waterfall on her worm with a Y I'm just going to say worm um, <laughs> worm um, and she rides atop it and kind of hovers in the middle between all the adventurers um, lifting a very crystalline spear into the air and then lowering it and where it hits the lack of floor um, <laughs> that's not beneath her uh, you see just this very gentle pulse and wave of ethereal purple energy emanate out towards you all uh, and you see small feathers jump and leap like dolphins from water emanate from around your feet and you see that you now have featherfall so that you won't plummet to your death Hooray. by jumping into the ocean <laughs> and Ixit and Bolt once again goes through the rules adventurers remember your goals in order for the event to end, the trinket must be brought to the check-in after time is up. Time is up when all the trinkets have been found. Only one trinket is needed per team to move on to the next round. Though it is worth considering that the fewer teams contain trinkets, the fewer teams you will have to battle against during the final trial. Don't go out of bounds. Don't go deeper than a hundred feet in the water. 
And if you need reviving, you may not re-enter the water. The rest of the rules are open. Are you all ready? And you see most of the adventurers raise a hand or a wing or whatever else different people have. Um, on your marks. Get set. And you hear a horn just and adventurers from around the horseshoe formation about half of them immediately dive in uh, begin the dive the plummet from the top of this waterfall 3,000 feet through tiny clouds past small dotted islands some only have a tree some don't even have that and just disappear into the fog lining the top of the ocean below. Are you all jumping? Any oh yeah. Thing you would like to Hell yeah. On your way down. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the goofy noise. <laughs> Amazing. So you all just feel the going past your ears for although you know the landing will be safe in your heart it might not be majorly apparent to your brain yet um you feel just the wind and the breeze and just the condensation of the waterfall and the air just lift past you buffeting at your ears and your body um where are you guys aiming to land so we have our, again, Microsoft Paint map that you guys are not missing out on, but I will share the, uh, oops, the final result of after the session. Oh no, accidentally revealing the map. Um, <laughs> where, which directions it, are both teams wanting to land in? And who are our two teams? I guess we never fully decided. Um... Now's a good time. <laughs> Uh, Al, you, you have, um, remind me, you have, uh, wild shape. You can turn into an animal. Yeah. But not so that's a, to level five. oh, right, right, right. Hmm. Or well, animal with a swimming speed. You can turn into an animal that can swim, but it might not be. Gotcha. Effective. Yeah. Hmm. I believe well, who would you like to go with, Al? Because Ludo's got heals, Tarquin's got speed and water breathing so they're really probably the heel. best support yeah. yeah so who do you think you best pair up with are you there Laura? <laughs> oh sorry you're yeah. waiting on me I didn't know you were talking okay. to me I thought I you were talking to somebody else I also have being able to hold my breath a little bit longer so I'm, putting, I'm giving it to you I take the immersion as a with? compliment. <laughs> <laughs> um, Al is gonna go with Ludo, cause yeah. Hooray! You want to go I, upper left, I, and you'll go bottom right. I tell mm, a lie. You want to spread out that much? I think like I what? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Key. Yeah, I tell I tell a lie. Um, you can have an animal with a swimming speed. <gasps> Aloro. Tell Ooh. a lie. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I'll quickly grab a list of uh, those for you that you can use. Thank you. Can we communicate while down here? No, right? Not um, really? There's... Uh, I googled it. Uh, you've got, like, a few rounds of communication before you hit the water. <laughs> 3,000 feet is <laughs> fucked up. Um, yeah, so you've got... Um, I'm allowing... That's why I'm allowing it. I'm not just like, yeah, you are too two inches from the water and just like hey so what, where are we going <laughs> like yeah you're just yelling at each other like uh, where are we going <laughs> i don't know what do you guys think is the best strategy i mean we can try and cover the most ground or we can just try and go as a group and hope to find one and just hold it and defend it mm. i mean maybe we spread out in our team's 
first, just to see if we can cover more ground. So you <clears> said <throat> you wanted to take the upper left. Or upper right, or just, I figure we start in corners and then just try and meet somewhere in the middle. That could work. That's too. a good idea. Yeah, the way I'm looking at the the way I'm looking at the map is I'm thinking to myself, uh, one block ahead. So like you cover eight, and then eight nobody covers, and then another eight, and then another eight to the end of the map. You know what I mean? So they were always at least like a full block away from each other. So it wouldn't take too long to get to each other. I wouldn't want to be on the complete other corner. But we I can see, start in the corners and then work our way towards each other, and then like start heading south or something. What's uh, so? How many squares can we travel in a turn? So uh, it will be half your movement speed. So if you move at thirty uh, feet walking distance, you can move fifteen feet per turn, which is effectively three squares from. So it'll be one, two, three, um, not including the square that you're in. Uh, that can be in any direction, and that also includes. Um, it comes with depth. So you don't need to worry about like, oh, if I move 15 feet east, I can't go 15 feet down. You can do both. Like whatever your movement speed is, you can also move at depth at the same time. Okay. Uh, if and... you dash, which is your action, you can move double that. And if you're a monk, you can move more because fuck you. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what is, uh, <laughs> what's that in D5? In D5. Um, that is the example area that I used in the Discord. Uh, I, and that's how the, far we can see. There weren't enough undo states uh, to <laughs> <laughs> to let me refill it in, and I was like, "Well, there's you know there is something there, but you don't meta gaming wise. You do not know that there is anything in D five. Um, okay. <laughs> so for mm. people at home wondering what the fuck this map is, it is a forty four by forty four grid that is just a view of ocean. There is nothing that they can see, but as they move around, I'll slowly reveal what they're able to see. Um, chaos. Yeah, I was basically saying let's at least stay thirty away from each other, so it won't take too long to get to each other. That's what I'm saying. I like that. Also, now I'm sending you the goods. I'm so sending. Thank you. Goods. you. Um, I'll also just send it as a picture because no one's got time for websites. I, I like, uh, let's go with Bifan's idea of kind of staying in a group and then just going, I say we start at the top, like upper left corner, and we just sweep down as like a group, like spread out enough yeah. so our visions don't overlap too much. How We can see out to two squares, looks like. Is that right? Um, you can see, you'll be able to see a bit further than two squares. Okay. Because vision won't be particularly Yeah, basically limited. like, like if you guys are in D, we'll be like in T. Like, we'll be, like, a bit over, but not too far. That's what I'm saying. B and T? Those are, like... Uh, I was going to say, like, what if we do, like, one of us is in C4, one of us is in G4, one of us is in K4, another one is in O4, and we just all go north to south, and it's hopefully by then... Because that way we're all close, so if some, if some shit goes down, we're just a little bit away from each other, you know? So hopefully you can see. That's good. Let me know if you can see this movement. So you're thinking something like this, and then. Yeah, but uh, starting uh, over in the upper left corner. So like, starting C4 and then going down. Ooh, I saw that. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not selecting the wrong layers. You are. Um. So starting in like A1 territory, kind of thing. Oh, we're moving over a little bit because we have we have view of like three squares, right? No, you don't see anything. That was just a mistake. No, okay. Well, we I mean we can start in any corner, but I mean we can see yeah. out to three squares, right? From where we are. Oh, at least, yeah, at okay. very least. So yeah, then we'll 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 spread ourselves out based on that. So like, C four, F four, J four. water. <laughs> Talking like that uh, for the entire the entire hunt will get you uh, inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah. I was I was. I'm, I'm gonna do it then I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Unless somehow it doesn't apply, but that's a matter for another thing. 
right. Key, the stuff you were sending me, did you put that in general? Is that what I I'm looking see. at? Yeah. Are you telling me I could be a reef shark? I am telling <laughs> you that you can be a reef shark. Oh! Um, oh, I knew I was going to put something in the wrong goddamn layer. Um, you can also be a giant seahorse, although they seem a lot less uh, powerful <laughs> and le less... I'm Look, I'm not here to slander giant seahorses, but um, it would it, suffice it to say uh, Reef Shark is probably the one to go for. <laughs> Alright, there we go. You don't have to go super precise with this. Okay, there we go. Beep. Cool. So that's where you're wanting to go? Sounds good to me. Yeah, and we'll just slowly mm -hmm. go north-south. Okie dokie! So... It, we can go in the upper right square if you don't want to, you know, because we see a thing that we're not supposed to see. I mean... No, it's fine. It's good. <laughs> you're, you're fine. That was, that's on me. If I fuck up, I'm the DM. That's, that's on me. So... No, I like giant seahorses. Stop it, Franny. <laughs> Bad, Franny. Uh, <laughs> yes, um, you're really not mi missing much. I promise you. Um, they they literally just see like a picture of the ocean with a grid right now, um, <laughs> and then really terribly drawn letters of their names. So, after a long fall of, should we go kind of in that direction? Yeah, that probably makes sense. <laughs> you eventually find yourself closing your assholes. <laughs> and <laughs> plummeting below the crystal blue surface of the ash in the ocean. Fucking mouthful, that. Not the kind of thing you think of when you're writing and stuff. <laughs> the ash in the ocean. Ash in the ocean. So... For, for the sake of saving time and easiness, you will land where wanted. <laughs> splash noises. What's everybody's splash noises? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. You can see why we're not sharing this on the stream now, because there is just a thing that says 20 feet. Um... <laughs> <laughs> So, it's probably not the map to show you this one. Alright, so, around you, as you all enter in the water, you see surrounded... You see the edge, the edges, the corner edges of the arena, which are basically just what looks like the continuing ocean, but with a slight kind of netting, a uh, arcanic netting, to stop you presumably going through them. Uh, you also see... Uh, just ahead of you, just in front of Aloro and Tarquin, you see a fish. This is not your average Joe ocean fish. Picture incoming <laughs> in general. Um, everybody roll a nature check for me. Please. Sorry, that was so rude. I didn't say please. Oh, uh, I got a two. Cool, it is Seven. fish. <laughs> cool, it is fish. Oh. <laughs> it swim. <laughs> Nine. Cool, uh, what you see before you is indeed fish. <laughs> uh, it is uh, darker with some orange highlights. Art by the wonderful Sam Santala. I'll see if I can find a link for chat real quick. Ludo, who who's left who's left for for fish roll? Hey, I could do for a fish roll right now. Mmm, yummy. All right. <gasps> he was doing Spicy a Tara Whitmatch creature course, of course. Any of my creature nerds, bro, I'm so happy right now. He was, it's Sam Santala doing a Terrell Whitlatch cre creature course. That's like creature on top of creature. Um, mm. This is a horribly long link. 
I am so sorry. Um, but that is what they see. Ooh. Um, kind Yeesh. of like one of those very bug-eyed uh, goldfish. Approximately chest width in distance. Um, so quite big, quite hefty. Um, who, who hasn't twirled for nature? Oh, I'm sorry, that's me. Oh my god. You drown immediately. No, <laughs> <laughs> How dare. How that is a uh, four nature. I would like oh to uh, know god. how edible it is, though. Wonderful. Okay, uh, so roll advantage for your ed edibility roll. You can use either nature, I guess, or medicine. Um, feels like it might be the vibe. Okay. Um, what you do see, though, is that it is a fish. <laughs> oh, it is indeed a fish. Fifteen. <laughs> to see if it's edible. Um. Well, there's one thing you know about this creature, and that is that it is a fish. Mm, and nice. so it is. It's not showing any kind of disturbing patterns of uh, an inedible fish or a poisonous or toxic fish. Um, the the kind of grayish black coloring is slightly concerning, um, but nothing that screams "Don't eat me, you will die." Um, so you would you would safely be able to say that it is edible, and probably tastes like fish. Nice. How big is it? So it's about chest width. I am terrible at distance, so like I guess like a foot. Okay. Would, would or would not fit in the mini fridge. That's up to, that that depends how you how the cookie crumbles, my dear. I that's, see. That's, okay. You know, if you cut it in half, it'll probably fit a little bit easier. But it's, this is the magical fridge of holding um, and, and cooling, so it won't not fit in the magical fridge of holding and cooling. Excellent. Either it'll be happy about it is entirely different. Now, we shall roll for initiative for the four of you to see what order you go in. All right. So everybody, roll initiative! I, this is kind of exciting because you can only see a little bit of the map. Just, oh, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, 25. <laughs> I told you I'm a good swimmer. Damn! <laughs> so Tarquin's at 25. What did we get for? Bifon got 8. Beef, beefy 8. Uh, Bifon, you do also notice that because of the ointment, your movement speed has indeed increased. So you oh. can also move. 20 feet per turn. Mm. Or 40 at a dash. She was right, the bitch! <laughs> <laughs> um, Luto is 15. What does Alora got for initiative? Uh, uh. It's rolling. <laughs> I make water noises, but I don't know how to do anything other than Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Okay. I'm going to put this in general chat. I'm going to forget it. Because I'm a good deal. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, okay. And there we go. Okay. So. Uh, Tarquin, you are up first. What would you like to do? Yes, I would like to follow the plan, so going south, uh, I'm not sure if that fish is hostile or or not. <laughs> One way to find out. Is there any way to, to un because nature didn't go too well with a two, yeah. so is there any way to know um, if I can expect can... it to have sharp tooth uh, or something? <laughs> you can use your action uh, to do a perception check or an in I, no, okay. I'd say a, a, a perception check or another um, nature check. Um, or you can get close and see what happens. Um, you do also see some form of kind of rocky outcropping um, just ahead of you. 
Mm. Uh, like a like a um, just a large tall mound of rock. Okay, I'm gonna deal with the fish first. Okay. Just because uh, I don't trust him. Okay. So I'm gonna go with uh, 18. You're gonna attack it? Um, I don't know. The poor fish hasn't done anything to me yet. <laughs> oh, so sorry. It's an 18 um, perception check then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> just assumed it was to hit. I'm just like, oh no. No, um, no, no. 18 perception check. Cool. Um, yeah, with an 18 perception check, you do see around the rocky mound, slightly in the distance, approximately 20 feet from, ending 20 feet from the surface of the water, um, you do see what appears to be a small shoal um, of these fish um, circling this mound of rock. And they do mm -hmm. appear to be kind of conscious of what the other fish is doing. The same kind of fish. Okay, so mm, I see what this is going. Do, do, mm. oh, do, do. Sorry. The thing is, is it, <laughs> if I, I think that these guys are going to attack us, like they're gonna come in in numbers. Mm. So the if I hit this one, the others are going to. To go fight for their friend. That would be nuts. I'm gonna try to get close to it as much as I can, uh, but mm -hmm. with extra care. Okay, so cautious, cautious approach. Yeah. That is valid. Do I have to roll something or? No. Um, do you just kind of keep pushing until you get close to it and it doesn't mm -hmm. attack? Yeah. Um, you are able to fully get up close to it. You just. All right. Chilling, chilling next to them. Hello, fish. Okay, they're not aggressive, so we can continue exploring and. Uh... Well, I mean, it's not his turn, but. Yeah. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. Okay, then let's continue with the plan and see. The fish will use its legendary action to. No, I'm kidding. Legendary they all mix action. into one <laughs> giant fish. <laughs> <laughs> they transform. Some big hero six. <laughs> Okay, I want to check out um, basically what they seem to be guarding. Yeah, so you do see... Oh, I'm, I'm mysteriously erasing some more of the map so that the players can see as they travel further. Oh. That's what you're missing. They can now see even more shitty uh, Microsoft more. Paint. Awesome. <laughs> um, you see... Um, that this is just kind of a, a solo mound of, of rock in the ocean. Um, it is quite thick. Um, heavy what I'm trying to say. Um, it, uh, <laughs> protrudes, protrudes from the ground. Um, it's, it's quite wide. It's kind of 20 by 20 foot, um, Have in diameter. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Um, and, Do I have that uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> with, with your um, prior perception check carrying over, you do see that there is a slight hole in the top. <laughs> well, it seems like we're gonna have to investigate this, so <laughs> um, I'm gonna make some gestures or some something if I can to yep. let to let them know that I found this so they can approach if they want. Yeah, I will say with your bonus action you're able to gesture to this singular kind of solid thing you can see surrounding you other than sand and singular fish, uh, which is um, this rock formation. <clears throat> um, just ahead, approximately, to <laughs> ending about 20 feet from the surface of the water. You're all currently um, kind of 15 feet deep at this point, under the surface, just for the sake of math. Cool. But yes. Okay. Um, well, I that would be it, right? Yeah, that's all your actions. So next up, we have Ludo. Oh dear. Ludo, there's a fish. 
Okay, I uh, I know I'm looking at it. I'm eyeing it. <laughs> For now, I'm sticking to the plan, but I'm certainly eyeballing that fish. And I'm just uh, I'm heading three squares south, and just uh, keeping my eyes peeled, looking at this thing that's about to be revealed. I'm not quite sure what it is. <laughs> yeah, are you gonna swim up to it then? Yeah, what is what is it? Is that the is that the Happy Valentine's Day? Oh, that's big. Yeah, and as you can see, it's about to be um, Yeah, you see. So the orange. Oops, wrong layer. Woes. Uh, you see. Oh. What is see that, it? Because it's the other side of the rock. Oh but my you god. You see a rock here. And you see kind of a shoal of. Roll time! Ooh, what am I rolling? Uh, no, I'm rolling. You're good. Okay. What are you buying? <laughs> what are you buying? <laughs> uh, you see ten of more of these fish kind of surrounding the rock. Okay. Kind like but one side. Gently surrounding it or angrily? They're just swimming. Okay. They're just fish. They just swim. You know, being fish, doing fish things. Okay. Um, with our bulbous eyes. So we can hold our breath for 13 rounds, and if we double that, if we dash and fail a con save, we lose one round, right? Yeah. If you uh, dash and roll uh, lower than a 13, you roll, you lose a turn. If you roll lower than a 5, you lose two turns. But oh, either way, turn. the dash is successful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll oh yeah, you lose you lose a turn of air. Yeah, so you. Oh, a turn of air, not a turn of air, not an action. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and dash so I can see what this is clearly. Okay. You want to swim to the top of the Happy Valentine's? Day? Yes. Okay. Let's go see uh, what's so what. Look at this hole. <laughs> Let me take a look at this hole. There we go. Take a look at this hole. Roll of <laughs> What's going on this Roll, roll of perception. All right. Check for roll me. a whole More investigation. investigation. Uh, I think my <laughs> whole perception is better than my whole investigation. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Umber lies. Ooh, 22. He's good at what he's good at. Yeah. Deadass. <laughs> uh, Deadass, you see, because I forgot to erase them from the map, you see a golden trinket. <gasps> what you can assume is a golden trinket at the bottom of the Boom. I will proceed to towards the trinket and start waving my hands frantically at my friends behind me as I swim towards okay. it. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> with, your double, <laughs> with your with your doubled uh, movement speed, you can also double your depth, so you are able to go all the way down because. Also, 20 foot deep. Um, and you are able to claim. Wow, you made that look real fucking piss easy. Uh, you are able <laughs> to <laughs> take your first trinket. Congratulations. Um, you all see. Uh, yeah, apt, apt music, honestly. Uh, you all see <laughs> Ludo disappear into this hole. And you Super see safe. bubbles come up out of it. <laughs> Everything's <cheering>. fine. <laughs> but you, you don't hear the cheers because water. I'm just waiting for the the edges of the hole to be lined with teeth and slowly close. <laughs> <laughs> so you have an uh, ideas. You have a trinket. You have a trinket. Um, it is on a chain. What would you like to do with your chain trinket? It's like How a neck, like, like a necklace, it? or like it's a gigantic, like what it's, kind of chain are you talking about? It's like a fist-sized um, kind of gold, uh, a fist, fuck it, why not, it's Festival of the Hunt and shit. It's a fist-sized gold fist on a chain, and um, yeah, it's, it's, the chain itself isn't massively thick, but it is big enough to be noticeable in motion. Okay, I'll loop it around my belt. Okay. 
Roll a sleight of hand check for me, please. Oh, I'm very good at these. We're getting real. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting a little technical. Oh yeah, so good. Six. You believe that the necklace is securely fastened to your belt? Yes, I do. Bless you. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, Eluro, what would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna say again that I did wild wild shape at some point in the last just like midair, just midair <laughs> into a reef shark. Yeah. Um, you were just strangling for a few seconds. too early too early um I am gonna go in the direction of Ludo uh okay that is your default movement but you can dash if you so wish I am not going to dash. Okie dokie. Any actions you would like to do? Uh, bear in mind you are a shark, so you can bite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tarquin's um, right there, it's your chance. No, 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 Take a bite of yeah. the legend. <laughs> it will, it's, it's very likely there will be a few turns where we're, ju- we're just swimming, so don't don't worry too much about just being like, I'm going to swim over here, and then that is it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's my turn. Cool. That is valid. All right. Bifon. Bifon in the ocean. Bifon looks to his side and notices the shark and freaks out until he sees it's wearing a little cape. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Yes. <laughs> And then goes uh, south there, uh, there 15, moving ever so slightly towards where Ludo is. So on the outside of the, the thing. Like here? And you do get an extra yeah. five feet because of the ointment, so. I will, I will move the extra five feet too. Uh, towards like right the shoal or south? Towards the shoal. Yeah, you like see right some the fish looking at you curiously with their bulbous eyes. Obviously, you can't hear that because water, but you know, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else? That's my you turn. You still have your action, so you can dash if you would like to. Oh, did you dash? No, I didn't dash. Just went okay. to full 20. Yeah, you can dash if you would like to go further. Mm-mm. See a couple of other stray fish jiggling about. All right. And with that, I must check something real quick. This is exciting. Okay. Um. Oh, Leviathan check. Okay, it is still 80 feet away from you. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, not me. <laughs> it's just Bjorn Piffles doing a high thunder water. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, as beef, beef, as you swim towards the shoal, you, do, you are able to see behind you a couple of stray fish. And you do see someone kind of just here, where I'm very neatly circling on the map. Um, you see someone just there, and they go up to the fish, and they try to attack it, and they miss. Uh, you see the, uh, Aracocra, um, eagle man from earlier who was being a bit aggro and broish. Uh, he just did ask, tries to punch the fish. And he misses. Um, it's now the fish's turn. Uh, the fish, uh, you, <laughs> you all hear this kind of strange, almost like the whistle a balloon makes if you really gently let air out of it. 
just like a tea kettle boiling, and it just kind of pierces through the water. And you see that the shoal begins to move towards the fish that was attacked. Can't move that because that's baked into that layer, so. <laughs> and and there's no other one. <laughs> very, very neatly done. Um, but yes, it will then be once again Tarquin's turn. So what would you like to do, Tarquin? I'd, I'd like All to right. ask a question, though. You say it's oh, yeah, starting to move? Um, the show, well, the show can move. How far can the show move? Uh, let me check. Peace. It hasn't gotten to its destination. It has started to move. Uh, swim 30 feet. Um, yeah, mo most of them managed to get there. Oops, wrong color. Most of them managed to begin to get there. So you see this gentle arc beginning to form around the fish that was attacked and the Aracocra guy that tried to punch the fish. I'm just hoping, um, from my vantage point, can I see, is, is Ludo okay? Uh, Ludo went in the in the uh, Happy Valentine's Day rock, and you see bubbles coming okay, from there. Okay, fine. All right, good. Just checking. And it doesn't <laughs> seem any. There aren't any noticeable warning signs. But yes, Tarquin, it is your town once again. What would you like to do? You know, like slowly spreading cloud of red mist. <laughs> <laughs> Pestilence of fish. <laughs> I would like to explore and uh, see if I can find anything in there. Basically like Ludo did. Okay. Um, so you'll need to dash to be able to get... Ooh, yes. Five, Let's do it. 10, 15, 20. You can get to the top and see inside Ludo um, fastening the uh, trinket to his belt. Um, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean go there. I, oh, I, my, my apologies. I mean, I was going to do something similar to what he did. Like, uh, if uh, I understood correctly where I am right now, there is uh, a place where I can actually go there and investigate and see if I find anything. So you can investigate the outside of it, um, but the only way in is through the top. Right. Can I go through it? Through, like, through the center of like, it? Like, uh, get inside and try to find uh, a trinket or something, if there's anything there? Um, so there's only an entrance at the very top of it, so it's kind of like a volcano in mm -hmm. structure. Um, and uh, there's no way through it otherwise. It's the one that I'm already in, or is there a separate mountain where he is now? Yeah, because um, it sounded like the one, the, the spot that Tarquin went to. You said there were like a bunch of fish gathered in an area. Was there something there that you could Oh, my enter? apologies. Um, so that's the same place that Ludo went into. There's only one rock formation right now. Okay. Oh, oh he just okay, saw okay. It. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. My All apologies. right. Then I'm going to continue exploring and in search of, uh, of another uh, trinket. Okie doke, gonna carry on south? Yes. One, two, three, four. Four. Can I come? I think I can. I don't know. <laughs> Would you like to dash? <laughs> Always dash. Always. Alright, I forgot the first time, but please roll a constitution check for me. Even though I drank the potion? Uh, good point. Ignore me. I have free dash because I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically would. Um, oh man, I have free dash too. I forgot. Very right. I don't know if I ever rolled my con check for my dash, by the way. That's all right. We've gone past it. We're not going to go back and be like, well, actually, you're drowning. So. Um, <laughs> we're not going to do that. Um, you do see a little shoal of fish. And you also see uh, Luca, kind of oh, nice. slightly starting to be surrounded by these um, fish. 
Not is she all right? She's just in the middle of the show, just being like, wow, fish. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So just as I finish dashing in that direction, I'm going to wave at her. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's all my movement, so. Yeah, she'll, she'll wave back. Okie dokie. Uh, Ludo. Okay, uh, so Ludo has the chain and the amulet thing. Woohoo! So he, second. he would like to swim back out and kind of, you know, <laughs> try to get people's attention and hold it up and show them. Um, yeah, everyone in the, uh, nearby vicinity... I guess, except for Tarquin, um, would see that Ludo has successfully got a trinket. Yay. Hooray. So my Stop. understanding is we need one trinket for the team, or is it one trinket each? You need one trinket for the team to proceed to the next round. The fewer trinkets, well, the more trinkets you have, the easier, or the fewer opponents you'll have in the final, uh, in the final hunt. Okay. Hmm. But you don't know what the final hunt is, so... But you assume it's a good thing, if, you know... You'll just have less competition. You'll have less competition in the final round. Can we the, talk in the crazy. water, or do we have to surface the talk? You will... You can feel free to gesticulate. It will require a performance check to be understood. Um, or you can surface. Hmm... Ludo would need to dash to get to the surface. Okay, let's dash to the surface. Okay, roll constitution saving throw. Oh my <laughs> I remember God. this time. That's your own fault. Oh, natural 20. Hey, yo! You. Yeah, just little mermaid out of the water. And I'll, ah. I'll, I'll signal to my. Oh, I guess I have to performance check to signal. <laughs> but I'm going to signal to them that I'm going up and I would like them to join me so we can talk. Okay, doke. Oh, never mind. That's a, that's a two. That's a one plus a one. <laughs> oh, a two, a two for your... Performance. No, performance. Oh, performance. Um, well, they see you going up. Okay. And I'd say with your nat 20, that's, that's enough of a sign of like, come on, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so yes, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Bifon, Bifon, and Ayuro. I just I can't help it not say like that when I look at the name. So nice. <laughs> uh, Aloro, you both see um, Ludo, uh, Little Mermaid, his ass up to the surface of the water in a way that suggests he might like you to follow them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where. I don't know <laughs> how. <laughs> Um, yes. Uh, roll a sleight of hand check for me, please. Who? You. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Just because the music got uh, all Three. Plus zero is three. Great. Um, Aloro and Bifon, I would like you to roll a perception check for me, please. Oh god. Please roll well. <laughs> There was a way I could put an ominous red filter over the stream. 13, 5, 18. <laughs> 18. Nice. What did you get the laurel? 15. Sweet. Uh, you both see the uh, the trinket start to fall from Ludo's belt as he plummets <laughs> upwards. Can you plummet upwards? I don't know. He found it feels a out. way. Yep. Um... So, uh, Laura, it is your go next, so you will be able to, uh, snatch the, uh, sl snatch the trinket as it floats downwards, um, from Ludo's location, if you so wish. Yep, I'm gonna go for the trinket and uh, hold it in my terrifying shark teeth. I'm doing a <laughs> shark. Okay, there you go. Um, and you join him at the surface, I guess, but not too much. Not totally at the surface. I I, yeah. I just circle around. Just like stick a little sharky <laughs> ear out. You're just circling him. 
Be funny you see Luna being circled by a shark. <laughs> we'll use that we'll use that in the trailer and it'll be like, oh my god, Ludo's in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, would you like to do anything else, Shark Loro? Shark Loro! <laughs> um Shark Loro is uh content. That is good, I'm happy to hear. <laughs> I also would be. Um alright, Beefle. Beefle. Uh Yo. Yes, you see that uh, the trinket was thankfully snatched up by Shark Loro, um, and uh, they are both at the surface, awaiting your company. <laughs> Should you so wish to join them. I of course you can guess... do something and then go to the surface. It is up to you. I was just going to move, so I guess I'll go to the surface. Ah. This isn't close. Okie dokie. Keep so. singing! <laughs> um, for the sake of brevity, um, well, hmm, how would this work? I guess it would work. We'll temporarily uh, pause initiative for whatever this conversation is. Um, and then we'll make Do up we get our breath back since we're going to the surface? Yes. Well, uh, yeah, at least Ludo and I, since everybody else is aquatic. <laughs> <laughs> Currently amphibious, at least. Yes, and then we'll make up uh, Tarquin's turns, depending on how long y'all talk for. How long we talk for? Hey. How for? How long you're talking for? So I Ludo's hope. gonna Ludo's gonna Ariel out of the water, toss his hair back, just full splash <laughs> of crescent, beautiful crescent of, of water. And as uh, as y'all uh, show up, he says, "Look, I I got it, I got one." And he, he splashes around the side, and he's like, oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. Uh, just beneath the water, you do see Shark Loro uh, has trinket in mouth. Oh, thank God, Shark Loro. Thank you. <laughs> 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 so we, uh, we're, we're done, right? Look, friends, we got it, look! Uh, if Alora was still a human, I would allow the animal speaking would still be on so you could just hear him go, Father! <laughs> <laughs> You're back! Um, uh, yes, his uh, friends is circling above. Glad to presumably glad to see that you're safe. Are, are we done? Uh, we still have many more to get. Oh, I thought we just I need think it's the a one. Matter of one's good, but we want to make sure that we stay in this competition. One, I believe, means that we go ahead. But the more that we get, the less everyone else does. Oh... I don't want to stop anyone else from winning just because they can't get a trinket. I think everybody we has should, a chance. We should at least get two in case we drop one. Oh, okay. Good call. Hmm. Okay, let's go. And he he waves goodbye to friends and uh, disappears <laughs> once more beneath the surface. Do you want to hand the trinket to him? Oh. He is hovering close enough. I think I'll keep it in the fridge. I think the fridge is okay. safe. Yeah. Cool Thank beans. you. <laughs> Aloro's jaw unhinges. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to stick your arm in <laughs> to the shark's mouth into oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you, Aloro. Good Zed, friend. I thought you were gonna fucking eat friends then for a second. No. <laughs> total, total shark move him. <laughs> oh my goodness, my my compass, my moral compass would be oh, off the charts. <laughs> as as a character, oh no. <laughs> Ludo will remember this. Um, <laughs> all right, so Tarquin will give you a couple of goes momentarily to make up for the chance time. 
was not not a crazy long conversation. Um, but the world keeps on turning. Um, and we keep on learning. And what we learn, Beautiful. despite it not... Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> we don't really see it happen. Tarquin, I'll let you roll perception. Um, okay. You might not want to see this happen. Um, let me roll a couple things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Does uh, I get a five. <laughs> okay. Um, audience, picture this for me, if you will. <laughs> the camera pans from the cute conversations of our team to Tarquin waving at Luca. Over back to the Aracocra, who attempted to punch one of the fish. You see the encroaching shoal of ten or so more of these fish as they approach closer and closer until they are a singular unit with this fish. The fun thing about Bulbiaris, as they are known as, no metagini. Um, although we can call them Bulbies for fun. I'm fine with that. Uh, the fun thing about Bulbiaris is that Tarquin's in I intuitions were partially correct. They are fairly protective of their own. No metagaming. You, audience, see as uh, this Aracocra buffed up on ego and just thinking nothing of punching a rogue fish out of its way in order to find another trinket has long spine-like tendrils kind of detaching from the fins of the Bulbiaris. All of them simultaneously. Or half of them simultaneously. And piercing into various body parts of the Aracocra. With each piercing you see spouts of blood just appear and begin to somewhat conceal the events that are going on. With a natural three, the Aracocra is unable to break away from the grip, from the grasp, from the hooks of the Bulbiaris. And while half of them begin to drag him down deeper and deeper into the sea, the others slice at his wings, at his face, at his armor. Now individually, these fish would not do a great deal of damage to a person. Nor would two or three. Five? Eight? Ten? Eleven? is more than enough to dispose of those who threaten them. So, dear listeners, you would see just past the clouds of blood in the water a fading figure being dragged further and further down, further away. Oops. Wrong way. And out of sight. From any who would be looking onwards onto this scene. Alright, cool. Uh, talk when it's your turn. What would you like to do? Oh, wait, so I don't know. <laughs> <have any more? laughs> oh, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> so the surfacing was my move. Sorry, you do. Yes, you do get um, another action. Sorry, my apologies. Oh no, no, no! The surfacing was my move. Then it's okay. No, that was your movement. But you. Oh shit! You still have. Um, yeah, your action bonus action. No, nope, um, I was gonna move. That's what I was gonna do. But I guess I just oh, I gotcha. went up. Yeah. Um. No, you do have. Yeah. Sorry, you do have more movement, so you can 
move left, right. Or any of the other directions that there are that I've forgotten. North, east, south, west. <laughs> One of them. Yeah, my apologies. Thank you for reminding me. Don't Oh, no, I was just anyone. wondering. Um, just gonna head further south. Now that everything with uh, Udo's taken care of. Then the full 20? Jean. Yeah. 20. Okay, cool. And you'll get a little bit more vision. And even more when you resubmerge. Right, cool shit. <gasps> We're zooming out. Right, Tarquin. Uh, you saw none of that. Um, everything is fine. All right. What would you like to do? <laughs> I would like to continue south and a little bit to the east as well, because I don't want to get too far apart from the group. Okie dokie, so we'll go east east to south too? That's great. Awesome. Oh, I have dash, of course, so it's a little bit more, right? Uh, or that's that's all I can do. You were there. Okay. No, you were there. Anyway. 15, 20. Yeah, so that's your 20, but you can... You can you can dash for freebies, uh, so I don't. I guess I don't even need to ask if you want. To. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the dash locked, and we're just gonna dash every time. Okie dokie, <laughs> locking on the dash. Okay, so do you wanna go east a bit more, or south a bit more, or a bit of both? A little bit of both. Okie dokie. One, two, bump into Luca. She's now drowned. Okay. Um, <laughs> and. I will stay here because you would go past her. All right. Cool beans. Ooh, again, far lands. Is this is this working out? You enjoying this experience of the map unveiling itself slowly? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, did I miss something in my tech difficulty? Is Lugo okay? Luda? Yeah, Luda's fine, I think. Luca. Oh, Luca is oh, being... Luca. Yeah, she's fine. She's just being gently surrounded by fish, but like in a, oh, cool fish way, instead of like... Dun, 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 dun. Ah, okay. Yeah. She's okay, so far. Eagle Man! When that, you resubmerge, he's gone. That looks like gone. a lot of death. That's fine. He's fine. Yes, anything else you'd like to do, Dark Queen? Mm, no, unless I spot something shiny or something interesting, I'm just gonna keep on searching and exploring. Yeah, nothing explicitly. Um, you see some, like, a dark shadow kind of just to the south, but you can't tell quite what it is from this distance. You also see a couple more fish just chilling. Just chilling right. real casual. Okie dokie! Hey, uh, Ludo, what you doing, buddy? Uh, okay. Uh, so Ludo has a trinket. He feels good. So as he goes back down, he is, uh, secretly... He's still gonna try and help, but his new goal is to get fish. You're breaking up a little bit for me. Oh, really? Oh, dang. Um, oh, you're okay weird. now. Oh, okay. You're okay now. Weird. <laughs> I love when that happens. It's like, I can't hear you. It's like, oh, that's weird. It's like, oh, you're good. <laughs> good now. Uh, now that Ludo has a trinket, he feels, uh, he, he'll still help if, if he sees people need help, but, uh, he's going to focus on getting fish. <laughs> okay. So, you're gonna swim upwards, uh, your 15 to 20 feet? Yeah, I'll, uh, so put my head under the water. If I see any, like, any of those fish that look yummy, I'll start swimming towards their direction. Yeah, so there's one here. There's one to your north. There's one to your northwest. There's one to your north further east. And there is one just to your south. Okay. And the person who's being surrounded by fish, I can't see that, right? Uh, you can see that just about. Um, they seem like they're admiring the fish. They are <laughs> surrounded by a big shoal of them fish, though. Okay, I'll head towards that. Looks like I can probably, you know, Kirby's... Kirby vacuum up a bunch at once. Oh my god. Okay. 
Uh, are we dashing or are we just heading? Oh, yeah, we dashing. Okay, roll con, con save for me, please. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a fail. That's a 10. <gasps> mm -hmm, exactly. Lose, lose a turn of air. Okay. So you've got 11 turn, 11 turns now instead of 12 turns. Okie dokie. Uh-oh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. You're heading, making your way. No, that's only 20 feet. Uh, I can't count. Uh-uh. I thought you meant the song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only 20 feet downtown. <laughs> Going 20 for. feet downtown. <clears throat> You go downtown where the da da da. You know, yeah, I know that. Yeah, that's the song. <laughs> All right, Colbain's Alara. Hello. Hello. What was it like to do my fun? I would like to do. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go down in the same direction as Ludo. And, and investigate that orange sea looking thing. Your your perma your perma dashing? I am dashing. What does what does your shark speed? What does your I think my speed is the same because 40. I'm level two. Or yeah, I'm level your, your four, swim excuse speed me. is forty feet, so if you dash you can go eighty feet. Cause you're a Ooh. fucking shark. Cause I'm a fucking shark. <laughs> okay. Five, it's shark week. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So that's without the dash. <laughs> would you, would you like to, would you like to dash even further? I'd like to, I'd like to dash into the, the orange sea Into the thing. shoal? Into the shoal. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. We somewhere around here. Maths. I don't care for it. Uh. There we go. Uh. <laughs> uh. Cool. Um. Uh. You see. Uh. The lady within. Uh. That you believe you saw talking talking to earlier. Uh. It's a little bit panicked. Uh. Because she's now surrounded by shark. Uh, <laughs> True. Um, cool. Be fine. It's your turn. <laughs> what would you like to do? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Just gonna continue my gym swim. Uh, gonna go down the gym full. Swim. I guess I'll go down fifteen over five towards the east. So you can go. So you get twenty feet because of the ointment. So you can go. Yeah. You can go twenty feet east and then also twenty feet down, at the same time. Oh no, I meant south. Oh south. Yeah. So oh, southeast. South over kind of where they are, but I'm gonna go okay, a little 15 east. Fifteen south. Okay. One, yeah. two, three. I should have done it in feet. Five, ten. 15. East is this one. There we go. Quick maths. Yeah. Would you like to dash? <laughs> we go on the slow, mm. slow safe. Slow safe for now. You do got good constitution, but that's fair. I'm not gonna push nobody. Alright. The world. It is the world's turn. Um. Okay. That has happened. Um, that has happened. Okay. Cool! Alright. Uh, <laughs> uh, fish are just chilling out. Does friends get a turn? Mm hmm. Friend, friends' instructions were kind of unclear. Um, 
Fr friends. Friends you is know, just a marvel assist right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Friends, friends has had their turn. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> All right. Re re resuming. Uh, More confusion. Order. More confusion. Um, Lu uh, Tarquin, you do see Luca uh, looks at the shark, Shark Loro, <laughs> very concerned, very worried. Thing. Uh, I'm gonna point at the Shark Lura, and then I'm gonna give her two thumbs up, <laughs> like, so good, this is a good shark. Roll a performance <laughs> check for me, please. <laughs> performance or persuasion? Um, I it's a good um, shark. It's a good shark, look. Because some people might take um, that as, yeah, go for it, kill it. <laughs> you can do it. And that is uh, 17. Nice. Okay, she lo she looks down at it warily, but nods back at you. Uh, it would appear she has got the message. <laughs> nice. It's like Iluru has uh, an aura of intimidation, so we have to try and keep everyone calm around her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, that being done and. Uh, Luca saved from a heart attack. Can we continue moving south? <laughs> of course. Um, nice. Yeah, all, all the way dash. Gotta Let's go dash. Side so we not go through the fish, because we're not angry. So I'm 35. 30. 25. 20. 15. Fucking 10. Five. Whoops. Zero. <laughs> Wee! I'm <laughs> taking the scenic route. There we go. Alright. Alright. Don't accidentally erase Tarquin. Oh. 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 There's stuff here. Okay. So you see a tiny shoal off to the side. And you see strange kind of atoll of rock um, in this crescent shape. Um, so, kind of Orion? Like an island within an island, but under the sea. Under the sea. That looks like my next destination. Alright. He also landed right next to a fish. <laughs> He's just chilling out, though. <laughs> Okie dokie. So... Yeah, we've used up here. Movement and action. All right, that is the next location. Okay, cool beans. Ludo! Okay, I am, I am approaching the fish-surrounded person. Okay. Um, right, let me move. One, two, three. Next to Shark Loro. <laughs> okay. Am I am I close enough to start Kirbying? Oh my god. Um des describe describe to me Kirbying. Okay. Um, in this con in this context. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's a person being surrounded by a fish, right? Yes. So uh Ludo would like to wave friendly, do a friendly wave and then uh Wait. Confusedly wave back. Yep. And then he take he pulls out a basically a small box, you know, his little fridge, and he just opens it next to where the fish are, and hopefully starts vacuuming a bunch in. Has it got a vacuum? <laughs> I don't know. It's a. What happens when you open a giant infinity maw under the ocean? That's a good point. I need to Google something real quick. Okay. Um, should we take a <laughs> ten-minute break here? Yeah, yeah. I, th I thought we talked about this yeah. uh, earlier. I, I was, I was confused. Well, that was for. I thought that was for fit and vision. Oh yeah, this is. I wanted to see if I could like. Mm, yeah, water. like. I, I, I see. I use see a giant vacuum to suck up fish underwater. Yeah, but uh, yeah, let's take a break. <laughs> let's do a little breaks. Yeah. 
So if you need to get snacks or drinks or anything, please do let us know what you get so we can snack with you. And <laughs> get some fish. Back. Yeah, get some fish. Some fish. And we shall see you momentarily.
we're back. Hello! We have returned. How are y'all doing? What snacks did you get? I just got water. Ooh. Uh, I ain't getting no nothing. I'm still just picking at this rotisserie chicken from earlier. <gasps> you ain't got nothing, he says, with a whole ass rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I didn't get anything. It's the same chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, I didn't get anything. I just <laughs> always had this rotisserie chicken. <laughs> I've just been <laughs> pecking at this like a crow all day. Just like little strips of chicken here and there. Yeah. There's one of the other few birds I can do. I'm just going to keep inserting birds I can actually make sound for. <laughs> well, you know, friends might get lonely. I'm just saying. Oh. Oh, maybe we get a, a rival named Enemies. Ooh. Named not friends? Enemies. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Enemies not. Ooh. Hey I hope by Lura will cast her spell so we can hear them both fighting. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's yes. the day I quit. Me awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> um, I'll make you regret it. <laughs> <laughs> there will be deep lore. It will be an entire Shakespearean fucking play. Um, but yes, welcome back. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Right. JC. Ludo. Ludo, if you will. I've been doing some research. Yeah. About, about uh, bags slash homebrew fridges of holding. <laughs> um, there is a surprising amount of physics and discussion and maths that that, that can go into the um, postulation of whether for and what would happen should one open a bag of holding onto the ocean. I love that. Uh, I hate it. It was a lot of maths. <laughs> and a lot of physics. <laughs> um, so what I will say is no. <laughs> I don't like to I don't like to say no I just you know we're still on tutorial islands so I'm giving the benefit of the doubt um maybe not the best idea okay. but if you would but if you would like to pursue and go ahead with it I shall not stop you I shall just warn you that consequences are a thing that can happen. Okay, well, I'm um, going to say this is what? Ludo, and maybe he's tried it in a river before, and how did it go there? Yeah, in a river, like in a jet, very small river, totally fine. And it maybe did vacuum like them in? in? Vacuum is a very specific word. Um, they, they, you held it in the water, and the water went in, and the fish also went in. Is is probably more of a uh, accurate description of how okay. it went. So it wasn't like um, there was a strong suction force that the yeah, fish were forced in. It, it wasn't so much a Kirby as much as a regular person eating food. Um, I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> or fishing. Saying that, I will allow a roll. I will allow you to roll. I or... I think if he's if he knows that it it hasn't worked in the past, he wouldn't do it. Yeah, it wouldn't be a. It wouldn't be a vacuum, but I'm I'm willing to let miracles occur, let's say. Okay. So, uh, I pushed my luck enough today, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that is entirely up to you, my friend. But the the option is there. It is not an instantaneous failure. It is just a difficult roll. Okay. That is what I would say. I think. Uh. Hmm. No one would die from it. Okay. Well, hell, you did all the math. Why not? <laughs> you, you took a break for it. You read all this stuff. Why not? Bless you. So, um, so 64 cubic feet are allowed in a bag of hold for all the maths out there. Okay. Um, 64 cubic feet is what a bag of holding allows. That translates to just under 500 gallons. Oh. Um... As for the details of what happens uh, if you surpass the ominous music, 
Uh, what happens if you surpass the amount that a bag of holding can carry? We might be about to find out. Hooray! So, um, I've had to decide the world law about what a bag of holding is in this universe. My, so that was fun. My next character uh -huh. will be a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's make it exciting. Um, would you like to roll the big scary number? Or would you like me to roll the big scary number and oh. you choose high or low? What do you think, team? That the, put it on the DM's head or... Take it on my own. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Take Day. Take it on your own. All right. Yeah, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. Okay. What am I rolling? Roll, I will make a decision that I will type out in chat. Okay. I will not look at chat. Well, I won't post it until oh, okay. the minute you read out what you've put. And then you roll a D100 for me. All right, here and goes. You're gonna want to be on the side of what I've typed. Okay, here goes the roll. Clicking now. Oh, the die literally cast. Thirty. Okay. <clears throat> Thirty is on the lower side. Okay. So it's not catastrophic. That's good. Didn't end any realities. Not quite. No. Um. <laughs> uh, I would say that with a with with your thirty, you would be able to securely. Well, how many are in this shoal? Let me see how many are in this shoal. Every shoal's a goal. <laughs> um. Oh, there's only five. There's only five fish in the shoal. Um. So let's say you got all but a third of them. So you got all but one of the fish in the shoal. In your Hooray! Shoal. Yay! But there is still one fish, and he's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> say that. <laughs> yes, you got you got four, um, four fish. So add four real big fucking fish and Hell like yeah. a hell of a lot of water into your inventory. <laughs> Dang, we still got to eat the freaking wolf thing. I've got so much yeah. food in my character sheet. Yeah, I would say with solidarity, you're fridge of holding is probably full <laughs> and capacity <laughs> but yes you do succeed I will, I will allow I gave you the odds and you succeeded well done hooray lucky bastard <laughs> <laughs> no it's good it, it you know it makes my life easier not having to create a pocket dimension that you've now flooded so <laughs> <laughs> I just googled it it's all good <laughs> It's just like, how much is this much in, in liters? Wait, how much is that in, in visuals? I don't know how much liters are. <laughs> okay. So, yes, you uh, you managed to sweep them up. And there is now only a single fish in this shoal. Um, as well Excellent. as uh, a, a shark Loro and uh, a mysterious woman that you saw talking, talking to earlier. Okie dokie. Whose name you do not know. Ludo is content. Cool. Chuck Loro, it is your turn. What would you like to do? <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I'm gonna go no. east. Okay. Fuck the plan. I am my own shark. Uh, <laughs> are you auto dashing? Yes. Okay, great. I can do that. I can do this. <laughs> Five! Oh, that's way too slow. <laughs> okay. Uh, five. Are you just going all the way east? Yeah. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Ooh, ooh, right in the, ooh, ooh, middle of the map. We hit the middle Man. of the map. I went far. <laughs> cool. Fucking shark. Shark. <laughs> reef shark, reef shark. On the reef shore. The sharky bark are shark barks, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. 
So, as you swim in, what is your perception? Plus two. Okay, roll a d20 plus two for me for a perception check. So you can just roll a d20 and then add two to it. Cool. Is that Australia? <laughs> oh, I don't know, mate. There's only way you want. What way are you going to find out? You'll have to go down under and see. <laughs> <laughs> what the what the fun because that's I got better. an eight. Cool. Um, all you see is just another shark. Where this ominous red blob is. That is, an, you see another shark before you. Um, I'm gonna act like a cool shark. You know, like we're huh. like we're not buddies, but like. I'm I'm not gonna try and attack or anything like that. I'm gonna I got play it cool. I got, I got you. Okay, roll a performance check for me, please. Oh, there's a marking on the map that looks a little bit like Australia. <laughs> I'll uh, post the Twitter link for the uh, for the current map. Well, the break. I'm just map. seeing a shark with shades on. Yeah. yeah but like what else? And a jacket with jets. <laughs> Not the sharks, just the jets. Ironically. <laughs> I got a 12. Okay. The shark seems to understand and see its fellow shark. We're shark boys. Ooh ha ha. <laughs> would, you, would sharks <laughs> be able to talk to each other? I guess sharks would be able to talk to each other. Ooh ha ha. Can I, can I talk to this shark? Yeah, okay. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Shark. <laughs> hey. If I could talk to God, I would say, hey, God. Um... What's up? Yeah, the, <laughs> I was about to say, the, the shark just looks at you, just kind of pacing around, just like, up. You knew oh, here? just chilling, just chilling. Do, do you happen to see any like metal shiny things nearby? Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. What's up? <laughs> <sighs> um, they kind of turn their head towards you. Um, because shark no shark. Uh, you know that this is a hunter shark. Um, they're pretty crazy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, they, they kind of go, something shiny? You mean like a fish? <laughs> Weirdo. No, something man-made. Oh, man-made? Yeah, I guess I have. Who's asking? Just a fellow shark friend. Uh huh. Sure. Did you get it? Cause ocean shark. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. What's in it for me? What's in it for you? Hmm. What would you like? Babe, I'm a shark. What do you think? You know, I happen to have a friend that's a brilliant cook. Maybe we could throw you some some fish or something like that. I was thinking more some shades, but I guess that will do. Shades? Don't worry about it. You didn't hear that from me. <laughs> Okay. Um. Just look. Just keep swimming deeper. Like just a little bit deeper. There's like one not far from here. Okay. Thank you so you much. Promise to leave me alone. Like you're really harshing my vibe right now. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. No problem. Roll initiative. 
<laughs> short fight, short fight, short fight. <laughs> You uh, probably shouldn't be in these waters, by the way. This is a hunter shark area. Just saying. Mm. Good to know. Thank you. Don't talk to me. <gasps> kind of turns around and keeps shark pacing. Um, All right, Alora's gonna leave them alone. <laughs> roll a shark Luro. Roll a perception check for me, please. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two. I know, I, I didn't want to go too obvious with it, V. I like to subvert the stereotype. Sixteen. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yeah, you see, um, uh, <laughs> kind of just to the southwest and down approximately sixty feet, you see... A little glint, a little glimmer. And it's pretty fucking deep, but you are a shark, and you automatically get, because you dashed, you automatically get 80 foot of up and down movement as well. So, that's pretty cool. So you can swim all the way down to it. I would love to do that. Or all the way down to it, someone, and then swim to it on your next point. Okay! Okay. So... So, Ulur, oh, I didn't line the grid up. I'm so sad. Why? Um, I might have accidentally moved it. That's okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Ulur, you are, uh, very deep. <laughs> you are the, the deepest that is within the rules. Let's just say that for you. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's <laughs> I was trying really hard not to say balls deep, and now I regret everything. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I've lost the initiative on you. There it is. Bifon. Bifon. What would you like to do, Bifon? Same move. South and a bit east. Uh, Can I get between uh, these three points here? Three little oh, orange yes. points here. Ah, yes, the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Going in the Triforce, I see. Um, are you dashing? Nine. Five, nah. Ten. Just want to get eyes on him, see what everything is. And stay away from 15, the shark. Twenty. That is your movement. Yes, you'll see. A uh, little shoal of fish. There's only like two or three of them. And then fish. And then also fish. <laughs> and then also you see as just ahead of you, uh, the ocean starts to grow darker as it gets deeper. That's what she said. Mm. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I am good. Yeah, you are. Okay, the world, it is doing things. Um... Ooh, let's roll Eagle Man saving throws together, shall we? I forgot. Uh... Uh. That's 12. That's a success. That is a 9. That is a failure. That is an 18. That is a success. He's almost alive. Yay! Good for him. Um... He's grappled underwater, though, so that's, that's still a problem. Um, okay. Where, where is my information? Ee, boobie, boobie, boobie. Oh, yes. Yes, quite right. Yes, quite right. Thank you, past me. You've got your shit together. Oh! Anyone want to guess what I just wrote? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, who's feeling lucky? <laughs> um, let me get a D4. You know, keep it totally random. Uh, we're gonna go in order of the Discord call again because that's just easier for life. 
Uh, Allura, you are one. Bifon, you are two. Ludo, you are three. Tarquin, you are four. It's not very it's not a very exciting sound rolling a d4 on its own, so I'm going to add a d20 just to get the ASMRs in. <laughs> 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 just the sound of palm. <gasps> oh, Ludo. Oh, why? Ludo, Ludo. No. Ludo. Ludo, Ludo, Ludo. It's not your turn yet, so it's fine. Hooray. Um, cool. <laughs> Roll a perception check for me, please. Who, me? Yes, please. Oh, no. You have... You have oh, Matt 20. Hey! Oh, shit! Remind me of this. We will get to this when it is your turn. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dark Queen, what would we like to do? God All right. So God. you told me there was like a small little kind of island right there. Yeah. You've got some kind of stony. Um, it almost looks like ruins, really, that have been overgrown by corals Ooh. and uh, leaves. Um for the audience at home, all he's seeing is uh, grey zigzags on the map. <laughs> it's not pretty. <laughs> but just picture. <laughs> picture the stone ancient or almost looking ruins beneath the ocean. That's just the place I'd like to go to it. So I'm gonna go and investigate those ruins. Okay. I would say with your movement you'd be able to do a full sweep of inside the Soikle. Awesome. And then... And then you can roll for me. <laughs> uh, an investigation check. Or a perception check. Whichever, whichever folks you go, you know. Let's go perception. And that is uh, 23. Awesome! Um, oh, it's, it's sad, really. Because you roll really high per for perception. But in truth... There is nothing to be found. There is no trinket here. Um, your Tarquin senses are indeed not ting tingling. Um, I would say with a 23. Is that a nat 20 or a dirty... dirty? No. Uh, actually, yes. It's a natural 20. Yes. It's a nat 20? Oh, shit. Okay, guys. Okay. I, think <laughs> I get it. You're good. Um, you see... On the surface to the southwest, something on. Okay, yeah, southwest. Look. Yes. All right. Okay, I guess I already consumed all my my actions. So, unless there's anything I can do. That's, that's, um, you've used your movement this round, yeah, but you can okay. definitely pretty much hit spot on where it is on your next turn. Yeah, and you can that's begin what to surface, do. so you don't need to worry about dip. Okay. Cool beans! Ludo, just another regular turn for you, my guy. Um. Okay, I think for Ludo, what do I see? Oh. I'd want to, I want to. Hear the results of your very good, very good perception first. All right. You see the last fish that was in the shoal kind of begin to approach, and then suddenly its head kind of whips around, the tail very slowly floating behind it, and it scarpers. What scarpers? Uh. It fucks off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Legs it. <laughs> uh, I was like, does that mean it has blade feet? What does scarpers mean? <laughs> Means it gets, gets you with a razor, in it. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and from the northwest, you see something shift. Just mm. below the sand. Mm. You've seen small rays and such do similar things 
on your forays into rivers and at beaches. This isn't a ray. Um, make a dexterity saving throw for me at advantage, please. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh, thirteen to beat. Okay, sweet. Uh, eighteen with advantage. Nice. Um, are you helping the person next to you as well? Yes. Okay. I, that that comes free because. Well, hel helping from what? Wrong. By the way. <laughs> oh, um. So you kind of both uh, move to the side as you see these small darts shoot through the water, Ooh. seemingly from this strange spot. Because um, the water's a lot shallower here. Um, as you head westward, it seems to get deeper. Um, so the water's not that massively deep here, so it's not, you know, a considerable difficulty for someone in sand to shoot you with a dart gun. Um, and before you can really process what's happened, you see um, one of the women in streetwear, <laughs> for lack of a better word, from earlier... Uh, kind of dash and approach here. The red dot is a person attacking me? Yes. <gasps> it is your turn, though. Why did they do that? I, I try and lock eyes with them to see their intent. Like... Um, is the attack and something behind? I'll give him the, the final benefit of the doubt before I charge. Roll, want yeah, me to roll insight? You, you see their pallid, almost kind of grayish human skin outlined by their platinum hair that's just kind of drifting to the side gently from out under their black hood. They seem to have some kind of contraption on their face. You have never seen anything like it. Hmm. Specifically in that accent. <laughs> I, I recognize them, though, as, like, one of the other parties. Oh, for sure, yeah. Okay, so they're just straight up being an asshole and attacking. Yes. All right. I... Summon forth a spiritual weapon. Oh. A uh, spiritual meat tenderizer made out of spiritual energy uh, appears in the air near them and begins to bonk. You, you see, because you summoned it in the ocean, it's just this um, kind of coral, overgrown meat tenderizer hammer. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking cool as heck. All right, roll to attack. Here is the attack. Oh no! That was a 20, now it's an 8. What was it now? Oh, sorry, am I clipping? I need to change mics. Uh, I rolled an 8. Oh. An 8? An 8 does not hit, I'm afraid. Uh, so that was my bonus action. I would like oh, to no. approach and attack with my regular action. Yeah, go for it. So I slide in close and try and bonk him with my great club. It's also a meat tenderizer. Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Natural one. Oh, nar. Oh, nar. Um, or nar. Uh, Luca next to you, whose name you do not know, uh, is going to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. Uh, that is an eight. Uh, roll for damage, please. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Tarquin. <gasps> Sorry, Luca. It's all good. She's a cleric. Nine. Cool. Um, yep, she takes nine bonk damage. Oh, no. <laughs> just a gentle underwater, just... Um, boop, boop, boop. I'm slowing me. What the <laughs> um, okay and um, you see as this figure is still 
lingering ready for the attack. Oh my um, god. They are going to roll separately in initiative now? Eh, it doesn't matter. It's still in the same fucking place. All right, cool. Ah, uh, Shark Luro. Shark Luro back in action. <laughs> so you are currently very deep and um, mere feet away from a shiny. I'm going to go for the shiny. Okie dokie. Ring. You successfully pick up a trinket with your shark mouth, shark face, <laughs> shark mouth face. You should check for me, please. I'm enjoying the music, which is why I'm bastardizing. Sixteen. Okay. Um. You also see that there is one a little further. Wait, fifteen. Down. Never mind. Fifteen. Sorry. You <laughs> still also see that there is one a little further down, but you also see a figure over to the side, perching, kind of. Um, about 20 foot above you, kind of half perching on the side of the cliff that is kind of descending into the depths. Mm. And I've already used up all of my movement. Correct. No, you've you've used up like ten foot of your eighty feet. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, <laughs> you're a shark, babe. <laughs> hey, you're a shark. Do, 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 do. You're a shark. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm gonna go deeper. I'm gonna go deeper in 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 quest for the the second one. I'll say with your pre-existing I'm just making shark wiggles. Um with your pre-existing uh perception, you do e easily find another trinket. Yeah. Um as you approach and kind of are you eating the trinket trinkets are you putting them around your neck? What's what's going on? I am holding them with my shark teeth. Okay, gotcha. Um, as you collect your team's third trinket, you fucking mad lads, um, <laughs> you see just a few little ruins kind of making their way from these depths kind of up and out towards the rest of the cliff um, and back towards the slightly less terrifying areas but there's a shark this is pretty chill like the dark feels comfortable um as, as a shark shark dark if you will um the figure is still there and you do have enough movement to go and check it out or to begin swimming back up i'm gonna go towards the figure Okay, are you going? Are you just going, or are you going to roll a stealth check? Stealth. Here to see you. Roll a sharky stealth for me. What is shark stealth? Sharky stealth. Sharky stealth. stealth. Plus six. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stupid. 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 Stupid shark. What the heck? Shark. What are you doing? Shark. Twelve. Shark. I'm in a cap on. All right. Um. Oh my god, rolling ass today. Do, 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 do. How do you approach? Do you just go up between their legs like "What's up?" or do you like <laughs> go, go around? Or I'm gonna go? go around just to like see what they look like and maybe get a little bit of 
perspective. Okay. Um, though many have seen most of the different origins and spe humanoid species of the world that would be considered as humans, even if they're not directly specifically humans. Um, catch-all term. Sirens are some of the rarest to see. Above the water, at least. To see in the water, that's funny. Um, <laughs> uh, and yet, in seemingly their home habitat, you see um, this kind of short, dark blue, almost mousy brownish kind of hair um, curling around their face. Um, you see a merfolk perching on the edge of the cliff. Thinking not much of just another regular shark <laughs> coming and having a sniff. <laughs> and um, with their tail kind of just all turquoises and powder blues to white at the very tips. They kind of see you and gently reach a hand out. I want them to pet me. Oh, it is a it is a it is a pet hand. <laughs> it's a pet hand. I'm going to I'm going to lean in for that pet. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> um they definitely give just just a very gentle long pat on on shark head. And um as they do, they kind of cock their head a little look down at you in, in kind of more detail, whereas before they were um, kind of off on their own um, off in their own thoughts okay, no worries heep boop oh he's already gone okay. that's okay what's up? <laughs> Luto by any drowns. Um, no, okay. <laughs> Luto will be our B. We will uh, figure figure out what happens with that, but that's fine. So they look around at you and kind of cock their head, noticing that something. This this isn't. You're not like the other sharks. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do a perception check, maybe a nature check. Oh shit. Yeah, they know they know for sure this is not like the other sharks and kind of delicately but hastily take their hand away from your head and kind of lean down kind of craning their neck round almost bird-like in nature but curious not um, aggressive or threatening who are you what are you Can they understand shark? It is unclear at this point. But there's only one way to find out. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> Time for that shark classic line again. Oh. Hello? Sounded so much like an automated phone message. Oh, sometimes people Hello. think that. Oh, oh sometimes great. people think I'm AI. I don't know no, why. I, no, but I get it. It's just like the little nuances sometimes come off that way. <laughs> Who are you? What are you? Unexpected item in bagging area. <laughs> Unexpected item in bagging area. <laughs> Hello, we're just calling about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hello. Um, they kind of like um, jerk back a little and then lean back in in curiosity. You understand? I do. I uh, can 
speak with you. Hello. How are you? Hello. You see, like, a very playful curiosity light up in their eyes. Like a kid receiving a Christmas present for the first time. What are you? I am a druid. <gasps> Animal shifter. <sighs> it's a pleasure to meet you. You see a massive smile on their face. What are you doing here? We are looking for trinkets. Man-made small shiny objects oh i think i saw but they were taken already that's okay there are many of us here in the in the ocean looking um they point back down kind of from the direction you just came from did you find that one? Yes. Oh. What is it? It's for a contest of sorts for the people upstairs. Oh, Ash Sky. Yes, Ash Sky. Have you seen? They kind of pause for a moment, as if they're about to tell a secret that they're not meant to tell. Mm. I should not say. You have piqued my curiosity. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check for me. What persuasion does a shark have? <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the shark's persuasion? I'll let you Shark's use persuasion. persuasion is 17. Oh, shit. Ooh. Yeah. Um, they, they kind of look for a second like they're about to leave. Um, or like they're compelled to leave, but then they kind of stay. Okay, don't know what. Most already know, but... Less is better sometimes. Yes. That is true. Deep below, it is not just ash sky. Ash sky up. He kind of points up and looks out at the surface of the water. Ashen atoll. Down. My home places a open palm on their heart. And you see like just very gentle webbing, translucent webbing between their fingers. I'm sorry that we've all come into your home uninvited. No, no, this shared land. My home, far deeper. Far deeper, hmm. Yeah. Suddenly it makes sense to you why um, Ictar instructed no one to go deeper than a hundred feet. Hmm. Should come sometime, friend. What's his name? Jark? Aloro. Aloro. What is your name? Mm, my name? Yes. Miskin. Iskin? Miskin. Miskin. Type it in the Discord. <laughs> That's a greater than symbol. That's not how it's spelled. 
I'm not that I'm not that bad. <laughs> Come visit. If you are a druid. Our magic ah, will be great. What do you mean? You see them kind of look alert like a dog that's just noticed something really far away that is unhearable to the human ear. I must go, but... Mm. Ah! And they um, kind of go down um, to the side of their tail and you see them pluck like a small really small blue shell off of it kind of the size of a thumbnail bring this when near ocean I will show you a thank you it just kind of looks for somewhere to put it uh, hmm. where best to put Kind of wedge it on the top of your fin. <laughs> <laughs> ah, do not lose. I must go. Goodbye, Aluro. Farewell, Miskin. <laughs> and they take off and just spiral down um, with incredible ease, like barely leaving any bubble trails as they delve back deeper um, around the area you just came from. You got the little shell! Yay! Yay! Do -do -do -do. Do -do. <laughs> it's so tiny, they have to like magnify it on the <laughs> on the Zelda screen. It's like, hi, it's so tiny! But yes! And that ends your turn. <laughs> um, Wonderful! I don't believe there's any more actions for that. That was quite an eventful turn. Um, <laughs> wonderful. Whose turn is it now? It's Beef on. Hello, Beefy. How you doing? All right. <laughs> what are we getting up to today, Beefy? Can I tell what's going on with Ludo right now from that distance? Um. Yeah, I'd say you'd be able to see him. Uh scoop up a whole bunch of fish and then see a couple of darts go whizzing past and then uh, see one of the uh, emo streetwear kids from <laughs> no, uh, emo, emo streetwear uh, rogues from uh, earlier uh, begin to approach and attack hmm. so I'm heading back let me uh, prepare my what is it a constitution oh. yes for dash. For dash. It is a wing. It's 12 Yay. plus 3, 15. Four. Five. Six. Is there a side you want to be on? Do you want to come in from the north or from the, uh, the uh, east? I know. Actions. Mm, east is good. Bye. Du, 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 du. All right, you have your bonus action left. Mm. As your mm. action is go to dash. Pardon me. What would you mm. like to do? Oh, so I can't attack, can I? Unless you have a bonus action attack, which I think is level five. Mm. Someday. Mm. You'll be mm. able to attack twice per action. Mm. Uh... <laughs> uh, then I will activate an action surge. Ooh! Oh, yeah? Boop! What would you like to do? Oh, my bunch that bitch. <laughs> uh... 
be rolling to attack because I see people freaking attacking people. So yeah, you know, go like for that. it. He's not, he's not cool. Get him. Thirteen to beat for her AC. Okay. Eight. Eight. It is eleven. Oh. Ah, eleven Macy's unfortunate. You managed to get a hit in, but with the like just the drag from the water, it's just not quite enough to really to to really bonk. But a yeah. valid effort. You got up there and you're just like, I'm a fucking monkey bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and you still have your uh bonus action. If there's anything you'd like to do. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Ash. Yeah. No, I missed it. Okay. Okay. That's that's all I can do. I had not I had an opportunity to do something else, but I didn't do it, so it's all good. That's all good. Right. No worries. We got we got people teaming up to fight, and that means that it's it's Luca's turn, and she can actually help maybe. Nope, she can't. She missed. Um, cool. Uh. <laughs> Great the name. Um, you guys are actually rolling really good today. Uh, okay, so, and then Scary Lady's gonna attack. Ooh, I'm gonna see who she's gonna hit. One for Luca, two for Ludo, three for people, and four for the fish. Oh, no. <laughs> four for reroll. That's a four, so that's a reroll. <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna be all fours. One! Oh shit! Alright, she's gonna whack a mole, uh, Luca, which succeeds. <gasps> oh no! Uh, where's my dice? There they are. V is getting hit. I'm sorry, V. This is not why we brought you into this world. But we're going to take you out of no game. <laughs> Hopefully not. Ah, you took two damage. So, uh, two plus uh, five points of damage. Okay. Okie dokie. Ouch. Ow. Little, little dagger stab to the tum tum. All right. Uh, now I will scoop it about. Nope. Scoop it about. Roll a one or a two, one for Alora, two for Tarquin, three or four for Alora and Tarquin. <laughs> also, hey, that is a three, so that is Alora. Alora, roll a perception check for me, please. Aye, aye, Captain. Well, that sucks as well because you are the only other one with a freaking a freaking thing. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, I shall roll. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, you... <laughs> you see, uh, the sand at the, um, kind of, uh, towards your east shift a little bit suspiciously. Roll a dexterity saving throw for me at advantage, please! Damn it! I cannot roll good at stealth, except for with one character, and they're not here right now. They're in a different campaign. <laughs> what? Eighteen. Do? Ooh, yes. that beats my seventeen. Um, damn it! I'll get you and your little shark. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, you see again just the little darts just <sighs> go past you in the water, and a, another fiend, a fiend in the form of a 
streetwear lady. I'm just gonna call them streetwear ladies because that's funny as shit. Um, is gonna appear from beneath the sand. Her name is Streetwear and she appears from the sand. She <laughs> holds a dark gun and a dagger in her hand. Uh, <laughs> uh, Loro, Loro. Sorry, I'll stop. Um, yes, so she has <laughs> approached and is looking for a fight. Uh, is Shark Friend gonna. No, Shark Friend. Friend is dead. Um, okay. We are down. Oh no, we've got the, we've got the Tarquin. Tarquin's turn. Tarquin's just having a lovely time. Just do -do -do, exploring. Not getting. I'm just attacked. swimming and enjoying the place. Yeah, it's good time. <laughs> 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 yeah. So you know that uh, kind of just up, oh, south, southwest. Southwest. So you're gonna head head to the odd thing at the surface. Yes. <laughs> That's the technical noise of swimming. Um There is not freaking much. Um but as you swim over there, you see uh, at the surface a small little raft about five by five foot in diameter because that's easy um <laughs> and uh on top of it is a little uh lock box a little chest oh i like chests yeah all right she hasn't it her name's umberlie let's do this again <laughs> yes that's, uh, so it's her actually no, it, no, it's it's just a lock box. I was just being happy about that. Oh, okay. Stage. Okay, I'm gonna go straight to it. Okie dokie. Do you try and open it? Um, yeah, I guess. Unless uh, it's wrapped, which I think it shouldn't. But uh, <laughs> um, I mean, who's gonna drop a trap in the middle of the? Uh, that would be so mean. Roll it now. Um, <laughs> no, you open it and you see yeah. within a freaking trinket! Yeah, Yay. I got a shiny! You got a yeah. shiny! Yeah, yeah! You got a shiny, I won the game! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are monopolizing <laughs> this game! Okay, so. God damn. With that, hang on, let me check. So how many of y'all got? So Ludo's got one, Alora's got two, and Tarquin has one. Jesus Christ, you guys. Um That's fine! I'm okay with that. We're still on tutorial islands. Um Nah, you guys are doing fucking great. Okay. So, with that, as you pick up uh, this last, um, this last trinket, which it turns out it is, um, you hear kind of an announcement from above that bellows out and even pierces the ocean, so it's a fairly clear message. All trinkets have been found. Please make your way to the skyhooks at the south of the map and we will bring you back up for the ceremony. I repeat, all trinkets have been found. Make your way to the south for the skyhooks for the closing ceremony of this hunt. Hooray. Bring any trinkets you have collected with you. Thank you. Bing boom. No, no. <laughs> So, you know that one other group must have found one trinket, but you are indeed monopolizing. However, we do have, uh, we have Tarquin having a lovely vacation down uh, <laughs> to the southwest. 
Uh, we have a Loro uh, being uh, being rogued. We also have Bifon Ludo and Luca being rogued. <gasps> but all that's left is to get to a Skyhook and get up there with your trinkets intact. Although they are currently under threat. Is there anything else you would like to do, Dark Queen? Um, I already have the trinket, so I'm gonna try and see if I can find my friends and uh, see if they need any any assistance. And if we're all good, we can then leave as a group. Okay. Um. You, so you kind of uh, go back under the water slightly. Yes. Um. I would say. Do you have dark vision? I do. Oh. Yeah. yeah fucking underdark. You're right. Of course um, you do. <laughs> the, the below, sorry. It's not the underdark, it's the below. Um, uh, <laughs> you see... Yeah, you clearly see uh, Bifon Ludo and uh, what you know to be Luca, who are seemingly being attacked, and uh, Shark Loro, um, who... That, that isn't there anymore, don't worry about that. Um, who is also being attacked. Alright, considering that... Uh... Dark Luro is alone, and uh, the other two have each other. I'm gonna head uh, for our friendly shark. Okay, so you get another 20 feet. I'm just doing as the crow flies the quick quickest way. There we go. Swim, swim, swim! Right! And with that, Ludo back in perfect timing. Um, hey. What would you like to do? She just hit the cleric lady. <gasps> How dare! How hurt is she looking between that and me bonking oh, her? She's all right. She only lost <laughs> like five health. Okay. Then I will do a double bonk one with my spirit tenderizer and one with my actual tenderizer. Okay, roll the hit. 13 to beat for her AC. Okay, here comes the spiritual bonk. Oh, spiritual bonk is only a 12 to hit. 12 misses, I am afraid. But my actual bonk with my real meat tenderizer, 16. Okay. There we go. That is full on wonky bonk for 10 points of damage. Nice, wonky bonky. Points of damage. All right. Bonk. Big old, big old bonk. All right. Are you moving? Is that the end of your turn? Uh, just staying close to the enemy, trying to get myself, uh, position myself between it and Luca. Okay. You are, yeah, you are in, in her focus as much as can be. Okie dokie. That's it for me. Hello. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! How's it going? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> we have fun. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would you like to do? Reminder, you are a shark! Yeah, I am a shark. Um... And who is the person that's in... in battled with me like or who is it is one of the other team members uh that you saw before diving in there was kind of a uh what seemed to be a group of uh human sisters all kind of slightly pallid pale skin uh platinum hair and black leather uh roguish armor with hoods I'm gonna slight, try and make an escape because I I think <laughs> oh! that they're just uh, trying to defend themselves against a shark, which is you know understandable. Um, <laughs> but I don't I don't need to get wrapped up in it. So let's yeah. Okay. I'm gonna so see if can... I can make an escape. So with your with your sharkness your royal sharkness um i will say that you can use your action to disengage and you can move uh 
40 feet, or you can move the full 80 feet but risk being hit. But you do I'll have... move 40. Okay, that is a safe option. So you're going to disengage, bandage, and then... Uh, are you heading... Which way are you heading? Um, I'm going to head... I'm going to head towards Tarquin. Okie doke. Five. Oops. Okay, I'll do it this way. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty. Twenty-five. Forty. Is Tarquin allowed? I can't remember. It's fine. Whee! You're a shark. It's fine. Um, cool. It's <laughs> 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 probably not how that works. It's, it's all good. All right. I am DM. I am God. I allow it. Uh, okay. Uh, blah, 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 before. What would you like to do before? <clears throat> going to activate Fighting Spirit. Ooh. What which is going to give me advantage on this, plus a temporary 5 HP. Nice. Let's go. Mm -mm. Mega Bonk! First roll is 11, which is not going to connect. That does not hit him. Second roll is 18 plus 4, which is 22. 22! Oh, definitely hits! Go for Damage! And for the attack. Kill Damage! That is 5 plus 2, so that's 7. 7, nice! Damage. Cool beans. And I'm going to be sure to... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. You, you go, you go, you go. And I'm going to be sure to place myself uh, equidistant between Luca, Ludo, and the enemy. So where you are now? I'm fried on maths today. <laughs> <laughs> so there are, like over here i the actually can't see the map right now i'll explain later that's okay um so do you want to be kind of in a line so it's you luca ludo and then the enemy kind of as a t-shaped tetris block or just cornering kind of in a backwards mm. l shape or actually uh i just need to be between um Luca and Ludo. I'm defending, basically. Yeah, there's not a space there, but um, I will say uh, you can roll either like a performance or an intimidation check to try and draw attention to yourself. I just need to be near them. That's all. Oh, you are super near. Yeah, you're within okay. touching That's distance all. of Ludo and uh, Luca. Okay, dokey! Uh, it's Lucas go. She's gonna fucking slap this bitch. Never mind, she's not. Um. <laughs> oh no, no, I need to add that. No, she would. So she would, she would, she would, she would. She would, yeah. Good. Well, she's as good as Yuna is underwater in Final Fantasy X, so it's, you know. Question questionable. Hey, yeah! Ooh, okay. Um. That's six points of damage. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. It's just doing a straight bonk with her staff. <laughs> um, yeah, the the assassin lady is looking a little bit, a little bit hurt. Looking a little bit hurt, but it is her turn next. Hiya! Oh shit! Okay, one for Luca, two for Ludo, three for Bifon, four for reroll. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Hey, Ludo, dreams come true. Hooray! Um, does, does a... Does 21 hit? Uh, it does. Cool. Love my armor class you. is currently 10. Who knew? Oh, you took your armor off, didn't you? Yeah. Oh. You oh. naked? 
Uh, close, <laughs> like a shirt. Okay. <laughs> uh, you take <laughs> just Winnie the Poohing it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you take eight points of stabby damage as she just, just, just dead Going to intercept. I'm going to Whoa! intercept. Oh no, she doesn't. Beef on with the uh, save. One d ten plus two. Uh, so that'll be seven. I rolled a five. Okay. So that that's work? seven it's damage uh... to her. <gasps> no, it's re it reduces the damage that Ludo takes. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. No, I think that... So reduced by seven. How much damage did I say? Was it eight? <laughs> I think it was eight. Yeah. I take one uh, Ludo, damage. You are so close to death. You can take a single. <laughs> oh, I've never been more wounded, and I will never recover from this. <laughs> now you know how I'm really feeling. Oh. Um, <laughs> that's me. Happy um, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Fucking GG. Nice moves up in here. Thanks, BC. All right. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Is that, hang on. <laughs> who was who? No, it was. Wait, no, it was Assassin Lady Turn. Yes, my bad. I'm here. I'm, cl I'm close. Uh, Tarquin, it is your turn. What would you like to do? <laughs> no, wait. Um, sorry. One second. Just think about it. <laughs> okay. I forgot to move the other Assassin Lady. Okay, that's all she can do. Your turn. What would you like to do? <laughs> She's swimming so fast. She's like trying to outswim a shark. Well, she's not gonna outswim a shark, and it's not gonna outswim Tarquin either. So, oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head in that direction. Okay, the full, the full forty. Yeah. Oops. As as close as I can to, to Shark Luro. Shark Luro. Yeah. Bye. And as an extra action or bonus action, can I can I see that person who's chasing Alura? Oh yeah, you, you and see. Yeah. show them the middle finger. Is there? Disqualified on sportsman No. Thro throwing the bird is a free action, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm like, <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody clip that. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> you fuck yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your fucking trinket, you bitch. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> And that's my turn. <laughs> incredible, incredible footage. Uh, Ludo, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, we're going to bonk and bonk again. Do the double bonk. Do the double bonk! Spiritual bonk. Hi, get, get, yeah, hi, Oh, 24 to hit. Oh, this is a fucking image! <laughs> oh, that's too much damage. That doesn't make sense. Why is that so much damage? Oh, I guess I cast Guiding Bolt. I'll do that first since I already rolled it. Ooh. So uh, Ludo will cast okay. Guiding Bolt. He'll like fire a little Hadouken Bolt into his belly for 19 points of damage. Into the assassin? Yeah. Uh, yeah, she floating. She floating. Oh. <laughs> she... <laughs> like an Ave Maria playing some Haley Weston or Endless Ocean shit. You know what I'm saying? The real ones? No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so excited for the new Endless Ocean. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, she is she is incapacitated. She is incapacitated and um Okay, then I'll like blah, 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 damn it. And then I'll like start swimming after her to heal her. <laughs> yeah, go um yeah, go for it. I'll follow her up to the surface. That's my turn. 
Okay. Aww. She's so nice. Um. <laughs> Beefon's like, nah, Miss Miss, my nah, bitch. No, um, <laughs> is not that kind. Yeah, Allura, what would you like to do? You are, you've got a assassin kind of in tow, I guess. Um, and also Tarquin uh, flips the bird at the person behind you. What do you like to do? You have 80 shark feet. <laughs> 80 shark yes. feet. Or 40 shark feet if you don't bash, if you want to give her a nibble. Because as a shark, you can bite her. Mm. Decisions. <clears throat> decisions, decisions. <laughs> you know, since she's pursuing me and she's not giving up, I, I think a little shark nibble might might be in order. <laughs> Roll to hit! Y'all could have just kept moving. They would have passed out. Die of breath. Oh, that's a good point, actually. So, wait, what am I rolling? I'm sorry. <laughs> Roll to attack! Roll to attack! Which, which oh, is. Uh, plus. Four. D20 plus four. Okay. You're gonna beat a 13. You're gonna beat a 13. Fucking believe in you. Plus four? 23. Oh, yes. oh my god! <laughs> where, where, how are you taking a bite? I gotta know. Um. I'm gonna rush in and. <laughs> Take a bite out of their torso. <laughs> oh shit! Just comedic bite marks. Um. All right. Roll. Uh. One d eight plus two piercing damage for me, please. Lord, jeez. <laughs> just, a little, just a little nibble. An no eight. Torso. And damn! Nice! Alright, eight points of damage. Alright. You just, you see bubbles just escape her. You see, like, the, because they all have, like, a mask kind of contraption on um, that seems to be helping them with their breathing. And you see that as you, I imagine you're kind of, like, just chomping onto the middle and then wriggling. Like shark, shark style. Yeah. Scientifically, the sound sharks make. No one can prove otherwise. Um, uh, you see that the mask kind of comes free from her mouth as bubbles just spurt out, and she's just underwater screaming. Which I would replicate. I have had to do it for a job, but I had to waterboard myself to do it, so I will not be replicating that today. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Could not find a realistic way to do it. Um, okay, cool. Amazing. Uh, beep. Beep on. What are you doing? What's going on? It is your toy. No beef. No beef. Oh no. I have a question. Not even on the stairs. In the middle. <laughs> that that assassin. It it, uh, it lost the um, the mask or it's still attached to their face. Um, it's still like um around their neck, but it's mm -hmm. no longer kind of pulled up over their face. Oh, so they have to put it on again. They would, but they're slightly preoccupied being eaten by a shark right now. Right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> a yes, small little detail here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, just, you know, I like to think about the nuanced moments um, <clears throat> of these things, uh, which is that, you know, she is being ravaged by the oceanic hunter that is a shark. Um, so hopefully we'll get to love Everybody send beef on all the love for the <laughs> Wi-Fi. Or the power, I'm not sure which is... Look how much of the map we haven't even explored, you guys. There's like still, oops, there's still like two third, like easily half of the map still unexplored. So, uh, how many trinkets do we find? Three. Y'all have four. Oh shit. Yeah, Tarquin found one <laughs> floating on the surface. Oh nice. That's funny perception. Um, did uh, we say? Did they ever tell us how many there were total? Um, they said there were five. Oh, so we're, it's one-on-one -on -one in the final round. And this, right? You've got to go to the, to the uh, ending. Oh, right. We could get taken out. Closure of the hunt, yep. I mostly put it there in case y'all didn't manage to get any, and now y'all are just monopolizing the game, so. <laughs> like a bunch of joints. You got to be on the defensive now. Oh, we got you back, people. This time the power went out. They're trying to keep me away from D and D, but they can't <laughs> stop us. Yes, can't right. Stop the beef. Uh, oh stop. yeah. Fucking turn, beef. On what we doing? What um, we doing? Um, yeah, the lady well, next I mean, to you is. Took care of that. Yeah, I was gonna say I need to delete her. She's dead. Um... Well, she's. <laughs> wow. Well, she's not dead, but Ludo's gonna try to. Kill her. <clears throat> that is All where right, she so was then... once alive. <laughs> um, I think our time here is done, so I will, uh, while he's taking care of her, I will help with her up to the surface. Okie dokie! Okay, you will, uh, head over next to, uh, Luca, whose name you do not know. That's okay. Um and just kind of grab her <laughs> both swim up. I can see that she's she's taking a couple of knocks. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you have a little mermaid moment again? <sighs> oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> Luca, nice to meet you. <gasps> but it's there. Oh, you're drowning a little bit. <laughs> she kind of like pulls you up out of the water. <laughs> Uh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Come here often? Uh, no. <laughs> um, and you do see ahead of you to the to the far to the far to the south. Um, you see uh like the skyhook, like these little floating uh, platforms with skyhooks attached, uh, being lowered into the water. Yes, would you like to start swimming towards them? Far directly to the south, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll start swimming towards them. Okay. Am I still assisting Luca or is she fine? She's okay. She's okay? Yeah. Alright. Um Ben, I'm gonna start moving towards where uh Tarquin and Luro are. Okay. Still keeping close to Ludo. When he's done, we'll hopefully we can be with them. I'm still keeping my eyes open to find out what happened to Eagle Man. Yeah, good luck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that. Speaking of, this it's been a few turns. I forgot. Um, right, let's see. That is a six. That is a fail. He is one away from death and life. Final roll. Big money, no whammies. What are we thinking? Will he survive? Will he drown to the fish? He didn't even hit the fish, so that's embarrassing. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's a four! Make of that what you will. Thank you, Doke. Anything else you'd like to do before? Uh, <laughs> no, that's all. Cool. Okie dokie, it is now. Uh, Luca's turn. Luca will be like, um, are you not heading to the finish? 
What the f the, the fish uh, or the finish? I mean. The finish. The finish. Oh, I just have to make sure my pals are all right. Okay, just be careful, cause those uh leathered up bitches seem like they've got something out for you. I notice. Yeah. Well, good luck. Do you need healing? You uh, no, no. Save that for yourself. Okay. Um, and she's gonna. Uh, she's gonna kind of move a little bit south, but wait. Primarily for Ludo to surface. Full memory style. Um, second bitch. Alright. Um. I. Hmm. Would you like to grapple her, Allura? Because I'll allow for a grapple roll, even though it technically doesn't say grapple roll. I, I have seen sharks, and that is. <laughs> What do you mean by <laughs> grapple? So when you grapple someone, you basically restrain them. So they would have to um, use their action to succeed a strength check uh, in order to escape your grasp. Ooh, and you would okay. automatically hit on your next attack because you've already got your fucking mouth in her ribs. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Hell yeah. All right. Roll a strength check for me, please. You have got to beat a natural one, so don't bother if you don't want to. But it would be very funny if you got a natural 20. <laughs> I feel like God, so consequences funny. would occur. <laughs> oh my God. I have, had a pl I have had one player roll a natural zero before. <laughs> it was really beautiful. It was like... I got a three. <laughs> well, it's enough to beat it. So she has successfully grappled. Um, so she's going to try to escape. Uh, no, she, with a natural three, she does not escape. Um, she's stuck in there, so she can't do anything for her turn. Um, although she will flip the bird at Tarquin again. Like, Oh, it's on. Fucking <laughs> uh... Cool. Nope. Okay. I dark queen. It is a your go. What did you like to? What did you like? Well, that? since um, <laughs> this uh, lovely lady is being uh, eaten by this shark of ours. Um, I would like to take the opportunity and hit him in the head. Nice. All right. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, 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 swim. Going in for the bulk. Roll to hit. Yep. Just Let's unarmed go. punch underwater. That's so cool. Yeah, monks can do very strange stuff, you know. Yeah. I also love That's just the uh, 17. 17 fucking hits. Roll for damage. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use flurry of blows because I'm really mad at this Damn. person, and I'm really gonna <laughs> give him a beating. <laughs> That's for showing me the finger. Only I can do that. See, I'd say in other D and D games, it would be a case of oh god, I'm being attacked by a shark. We need to punch the shark underwater. Not here. Not at Tales of the Tornado. Oh no, here, we be we friends with the, the shark. sharks. Yeah. <laughs> we are the we sharks. Are the shark. <laughs> we assist the shark. <laughs> here. That's so that's a 24 to hit. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, and, roll, for, roll for damage. And I have two more hits because I have um, open hand techniques. So actually, I, no, one more. I'm sorry. One more hit. So it's three in total. I believe it, like you're a monk. <laughs> and that's a 25 to hit, so I think everything will change. Oh in. <laughs> my goodness gracious. <laughs> you know, you know, I think she's grappled in the jaws of a shark. <laughs> a monk, an enraged monk, has just swum up to this situation and is not punching the shark. Oh no, he is punching no, no, the no. woman betwixt the shark jaws. How would you like to do this? <laughs> so, let me guess. This is um, 6, 7, and... 7 is 20 damage in total. Yep. So, I'm just gonna go... Ah, you like to show me the middle finger too, huh? 
and then it's going to be like a Wing Chun combination, like pop, <laughs> all in the face. Break her neck. Just you can both hear just under the water that just just the bones give out. Um, yeah, she's yeah she's down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's down. Yeah. <laughs> and then a, she's another down. middle finger and just like that ends the turn. <laughs> okay. Cool, awesome. Um, that was a close one, you guys. <laughs> 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 um. If you'd like to all take your inspiration points now, you certainly may. Um, <laughs> holy fucking shit. Um, Ludo, it's your turn. What is he like, no. Okay, so she is... <laughs> she's dead or dying, and she's on her back. And I remember they said that clerics would come help you if you died. So when he reaches the service, he'll look around for any kind of, like, rescue team or something. Anything like that? Okay. Um, can I heal less than maximum? Like, can I heal like for a set amount, or does it always have to be like whatever the spell is? Um, I will uh, I will allow healing at minimum. Okay. Um, if we were going a lot more rules lawyery technical with this, the funny thing is what you could do is you could let her drown. Assume she'll pass all her saving throws, and that would keep her incapacitated <laughs> until she sought medical help. Oh, actually, I realize I've spared the dying. It'll keep it uh, keep them at zero hit yeah. points, so it becomes stable. Yeah, you can do that if you want to. All right, Perfect. so I'll uh, cast spare the dying. Make sure she's floating on her back <laughs> so she can breathe. No, she was floating face down. And then just like <laughs> you know, wave in the direction of any kind of distant whatever medical team, and then start heading towards his friends. Um, the lady you were fighting with is right there as you uh, surface, and um, she appears to be a cleric. Um, oh, the one I... Okay. Very brave. Uh, that was a cleric good. fight, huh? It was two cleric, three clerics and a, and a beef on. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, nice to meet you. Um have a bit of a bump in the morning, but, uh... <laughs> sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. My character. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I get so, uh, it's hard to fight in water, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I get it. You're all good. Is she okay? She is, uh, not dying. She can breathe. Okay. And, uh, okay. I'm going to go now. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave her here. I think one of the other clerics will her up. I wouldn't want to not like I have a trinket or anything. Oh, I got one. You did? Yeah, you're not going to fight me though, are you? No, maybe just don't tell people that you have one. Oh. There's still time before, you know, the competition's over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to my friends. Where are you going? Uh, I'm getting out of here. Uh, I'm going to go uh, get on one of the clocks to the south. Okay, good luck. Uh, thanks. I... She just starts swimming away. Carries on swimming away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that your turn? Or are you going to head towards Brain? I mean, yeah, I'm going to start heading towards uh, A and T. <laughs> oh, hey. I'll swim along the surface so he can come down and say hello. Yeah. <laughs> Let him feels great. rest on my hat while I swim. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too fun. Alright, so you're gonna swim. You're gonna use. Oh, uh, well, spread flying is action, so we can go. Yeah. Oops, yes, let's move the whole map instead of Ludo. <laughs> It, oh, it's time. It's time. Okay. 
<laughs> be funny you start to see Ludo's feet <laughs> just above you in the, wa in the water. <laughs> All right. Is that your turn? That's it for me. Okie dokie. Um, Laura, we'll, we'll end uh, combat with you. <laughs> for the sake of brevity. Um, what would you like to do with the corpse in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna <laughs> take it up to the surface in case uh, Cleric wants to give her a go. <laughs> sure. Um... So you swim to the surface. You can give Tarquin a ride if you would like. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Tarquin shark is ride. ride. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, if anybody uh, likes doing fan art, I'm just saying this is a good opportunity. <laughs> Tarquin riding and a loro shark. And just before uh, Ludo fully leaves, and because we're still on Tutorial Islands, would you like to search either of the bodies? Yes. Though that's kind of hard to do as a shark. Yeah. You can, you can <laughs> so nod, nod to Tarquin. I'm gonna nod that. to Tarquin. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Roll an yeah. investigation check for me. And Luto, would you like to rummage through the body? Nah. That's a natural twenty. Yes. Oh shit. Hmm. <laughs> found the whole mm. treasure. Yeah, um, yeah, so, uh, Tarquin, the world is made of magic. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, Scorpio. Um. <laughs> uh, you find a, you don't find a trinket. Um, that much is kind of clear from their aggression. Uh, what you do find, though, is that you find... A small pin badge. Um, kind of. This is not the song for this. Um, um, a small pin badge uh, in silver. It's kind of pinning um, the bottom of the hood to the leather armor, so it's kind of tucked away just where the collarbone is. And on it, you see a bird. Um, it's in the shape of a bird, and you know that shape to be a nightingale. Roll a history check for me, please. And Aloro as well. Although you're up, you will have to wait until human form to be able to uh, That's, uh, 15. 15? Okay. Aloro. It's just going to Australian Aloro now. Aloro. Thirteen. Nice. Okay. Um, you both would have heard of the Nightingales. Um, you would know them to be just kind of a very casual... <sighs> Organization is a very strong word. It's more just like a united front of people that, you know, just help out at villages and help out with any monster issues at smaller villages and such. Um, having both had kind of experience in and around Ospra, um, you'd know that you'd heard rumblings of bedding um, uh, in your time there. Um, the Miemo Monastery, obviously, slightly to the south of Ospra. Um, mm. And speaking of... Tarquin, you are the fifty. Roll an Arcana check for me. For shits and giggles, you know, no, no big plot deal. Arcana. Just, just, just and giggles. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Okay. In your mind, there's a faint memory. or dealings with them and you 
find that as you think about that memory of your heroism, your brow furrows slightly on instinct. You're not sure why. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Okay, did you take the pin? Yes, yes. You obtain a Nightingale's pin! We're obtaining all very tiny things today. <laughs> and then just all the trinkets. Okay, so for the sake of uh, brevity, uh, you all make it safely to the sky hooks, unless anyone would like to do anything else on the way. Although the longer you dilly dally shilly shally, the longer people have to attack you and take your shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. So you all prepare yourselves for the familiar feeling um, of the sky hooks, but this time a slightly larger distance uh, covered, but going upwards. So that is some fresh comfort. And uh, as you uh, land back at the top of the waterfall. Um, that you leapt from uh, not that long before. Um, <laughs> weirdly enough, it's not been a crazy long time. Um, everybody roll a perception check for me. Uh, I'd say at advantage. Let's do a group perception check. Natural 20, 23. Oh, I have uh, all the dice today. Shit! At, yeah. Are we doing it at advantage or not? Sorry. Um. Y- yes. Why not? <laughs> don't mind all the dice rolls. Seventeen. Nice. Fourteen. Fourteen. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. It's all right, Nai. Six. <laughs> That's okay. The group did considerably well, so. Unless anyone gets a natural 20. Which they didn't. Any people that try to even look at your trinkets or your group or get close, uh, Tarquin just kind of steers your group in another direction <laughs> to make sure, <laughs> no, like just herding the group like sheep, just like, nope, nope. Nope, these I mean, are I'm like on, I'm like next to shark. Is is Alura still in shark form? No, I wouldn't oh. be able to <laughs> use the thing. Because that would be amazing. <laughs> like, uh, imagine. Um, <laughs> I don't think I could use the claw hook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you turn back to human form. You just find just your mouth full of <laughs> full of trinkets and like uh, the shell just perched on the top of your ear. Um, yeah. And um, you all make your way kind of towards the main tent where the other groups are also making their way. Um, You see, um, as you're walking, you see uh, Amelia walking alongside, kind of giving you a wink from the other group. Mealy, mealy, mealy. Hey, what's up, big guy? You get any? Oh, we got the... Yes, we did. Yes. No fucking way. I forget. Is she a competitor? She is a competitor still, right? She she is a she is yeah she is a opposition technically. But, she's but now that we're up here, we're safe or what? Tar- Tarquin has made fully sure that no one's stealing <laughs> nothing. Okay. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah, Mili, it was so exciting. I think we got the, uh, at least one. I have it right at here. Least Look. One? Good job, buddy. Maybe I, put it away. I nice pull it out. Of, I open the fridge and maybe some water spills out. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of water spills out. One of the uh, one of the fish comes out. Um, oh, oh, excuse me. Can you? Oh, excuse me. I go grab it's it. It's still and alive. Just <laughs> it's just flopping on the floor. Back in there it goes. I'm like elbowing it back in. <laughs> yeah, isn't it nice? Showing her the metal while I'm trying to shoulder the fish back into the fridge uh yeah it's super cool but sorry to tell you buddy and she kind of opens like her uh chest armor like vest 
just to the side and you like like a dodgy watch salesman you just see hers poking out <gasps> go, go on to oh. oh my god i'm so proud of you Millie! and i did a big hey, thanks, high five Big, oh, little tiny, four, tiny two, tiny two. Tiny two. Well, GG team. I can't. Uh, I look forward to uh, whatever the next trial is. It's been a long time since we sparred. Well, who else has got one? Uh, I don't think Ludo is actually aware of <laughs> who all has any. That's that's fair, yeah. That's very true. I don't know. Hopefully, some nice people. Some people attack me. Can you believe that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it those uh, emo bitches? Very rude. Very rude. Uh, she looks to the rest of the group. Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, do you know so, if anyone else got any trinkets? Wondering that myself. I told her I, I got one, she got one, and then I don't know how many else anybody else got. No, I, have I got one too. Oh. What? Oh my god. Yeah, actually, it was kind of easy. You just got to swim and kick some ass and come back here. Oh. Yeah, I mean, a kicking ass is optional, but you went and freaking did it. Hey, yeah. Uh, Laura, do you see anyone? I saw you go shark mode. That shit was awesome. <laughs> yeah, we uh, ran into a little bit of trouble, but not too much. You know anyone else who got a got a trinket? I kind of want to know who we're going up against. Haven't heard. Shoot. Well, uh, yeah. Good job, kiddos. I'm proud of you, bro. You too, Mealy Mealy. Um, and you approach the um, kind of main tent in your individual individual teams, uh, which seems like a weird. Um, contrary point. Words. <laughs> Go back to the beginning. Thank you. Okay. So you approach the tent. Uh, to see once more Captain Imbolt with a new uh, butler on one side and the same uh, Dragonborn manager at the other side with still gold, still clipboarded out. Actually, they have two clipboards today. Um, oh, dang. And um, she kind of claps her hands. And this calls the end of the event. The crowd's like, whoa, yeah, that was so cool. I look, mommy, I like the part where they plummeted into the water. That was cool. <laughs> Just rupturous applause. So, will any of those of you who have trinkets please hand them over? We'll start with the team on the far left. You see, um, a team of very soggy, very bedraggled, um, very bruised of body and ego, uh, emo bitches, that's just their team name now, um, <laughs> uh, kind of look to each other, one of them elbows the other one, and kind of what one of them hisses to Ikta. We didn't find any. And you just hear me and you go, ooh. I can just didn't work then, did it, bitch? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it goes to the next team. They kind of, they're smiling like they had a good time, but they're like, ah, we didn't get any. Um, next, it comes to you. Uh, your team, yet to be named, I believe. Have you any trinkets? Oh, yeah, uh, here's mine. Do you all hold any any of your trinkets out? And uh, Laura produces the two that they found. God damn. And this one as well. The crowd gasps. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> they got four. 
four! How did they get four? Well, they must have had a very strategic approach to get four. And you see Icta raise an eyebrow. Aloro, you have never seen Icta so uh, expressive with her facial expressions before. Um, she is clearly, that one eyebrow, it didn't travel far, but she is clearly impressed. <laughs> well? And then she smiles, and you're like, whoa. Well, good job to your team indeed. Maybe the other teams could take a lesson or two from you. <sighs> now, your team kind of points to Amelia. Oh yeah, I got one. And it holds it up. Wonderful. And uh, you see that Ict is about to take it. And from the side, Yenka steps in and tries to snatch it out of her hand. This sneaky bit. <gasps> oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Um, you see Amelia, like, holding out the trinket, mad proud, waiting for the guy to come and collect it. Um, yeah, Yenka, like, outstretches a hand to grab the chain and kind of doesn't do anything, uh, just stands there stoically holding it, despite the considerable height difference. Um, Yenka only being, like, three feet tall, if that. Um, and Amelia's just like, what the fuck, get off! And goes to kick, and Yenka just uses that momentum against her, throws her to the ground, puts pressure on her throat, and rips out the trinket from her hand. Does anyone want to do anything? Yeah, Ludo would intervene immediately. So would I. Tell me what you're doing. Uh... <laughs> I'll grab Yanka. Okay, roll a strength check for me, please. Grapple time! Twenty. She's kind of... <gasps> Plus dirty two. or nat? Nat. Nat? <gasps> Let's fucking go! That's oh, time yeah. to do it! Let's go! Um, how would you like to, how would you like to grapple her? What do you do? So she's kind of got, she's kind of on one knee and she has just Amelia uh, pinned to the ground by her throat. You can hear it, uh, Amelia just like winded and just trying to, trying to fucking breathe. Just a tiny half Nelson. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold down the other, the other hand, the one that has the trinket in it. Oh. Ask her what is going on. The rules were clear. The game's still on. I still have a chance. Remember? Yes. You said you'd help me if you saw something going on. Well, what is going on? I'd like to get through to the final round. So I'm taking my chance at victory. Bifon, is this true? Do you owe her a favor? I never promised her anything, but she helped me. I'm willing to help her. We don't need any kind of special advantage to win. Merely, this is for you. And I give her my trinket. I know it's the DM I'm meant to be like super straight laced and like just like oh yes, what an incredible move. Let's just move on. I'm like, no, nah, let's go, bitch! <laughs> Fuck her up! <laughs> um uh, you you kind of go to hand it to her and she just get this bitch off me first. It's okay, be fun, let her have it. And then Millie can have mine. And we'll beat her fair and square in the final trial. 
pull the trinket from her hand, toss it over to Millie, and then I say to Yanka, you don't do it this way. I put her down. Ooh. Right, so she is, she is uh, trinketless. With that not 20, you don't even have to roll for that shit. That's that's yours. <laughs> height, height, and oh, vantage. Oh, I know. Oh, I yeah. know. I'm very disappointed. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's fucking go. You tell. Um, yeah, I just looks... whisper on the way back. Thank you. Yanka kind of stands back up. Kind of kind of trying to throw Amelia's neck kind of towards the ground as she stands kind of breathes in exhales kind of slicks back a couple of the stray hairs that fell over her face play your little games I'll have my thoughts She looks back at you. She she looks at the floor beneath your feet as she turns back uh, turns back towards you. Before no mercy, and kind of walks off into the crowd. Um, a couple of people in the crowd are like, "Oh, shit. Well, damn, no mercy." Was that part of it? Uh, and Amelia gets up just like <laughs> <laughs> see little kind of sparks of fire coming out she's like sorry I don't want to <clears throat> god fucking <sighs> this is a strong ass bitch god damn <laughs> oh my god like just like resting her hands on her thighs and bending down oh <sighs> <laughs> kind of still looking down and bending over, just thanks, guys. <laughs> Throws a thumbs up to you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um, she's gonna go right up to the guy who's been taking the trinkets and put the trinket directly in his hands and and pat it down to make sure <laughs> it's secure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got, we got it. Yeah, woo, go us, I guess. Oh, fucking. Holy shit! Um, Ix is just like... Okay, well... Uh, I suppose no point in asking Yanka how she did. But, all of that aside, you all deserve the biggest congratulations. And... Your prizes for getting thus far. Those have been left in boxes at your various accommodations. So far, because of your high success rates, your team, gesturing to you guys, will be given more prizes that will aid you in the final battle. The other team will still receive some boons, but they will be lesser. This is the prize for competency for the hunt. Tomorrow, the hunt starts later in the afternoon. You will arrive at the boat port and you will be taken to the final arena. In there, you will face a singular creature. But be warned. This will test all of the skills that have been tested so far, and then some. Use your initiative. Be smart, and if in doubt, look away. That will be all. She gives you a small, all a small salute, and 
and uh, heads back into her tent for the evening. And that is where we'll end it for tonight. Oh my god. Ooh. Yay. Gee, guys, what the fuck? You're making my shit look like piss. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm so proud, but what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. That was not gonna, like, I will say, Beefle. Beefle? Mm. Um, that's just way too fun to say. Uh, yeah, I will say, Dime, that was not a fucking easy roll because, um, as per. Uh, the observations earlier in the session. Um, just a fun side fact. Uh, Yenka is level eight. Oh, dip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. No, that turned not... out perfectly on all yeah. sides. Thank you very much, C, for what you did. Yeah, yeah. that was, that was my heart. My heart was like, dum dum dum. Because I was like, man, Yanka's such a bitch, but she fucking would. <laughs> like... <laughs> Wait, is Yanka the one team uh, person? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yank is the folk hero huntress. Not and much of a folk if, hero. If I had found You're out right. that she didn't get one, I was going to ask the team if we could give her one. Aww. Don't come in so the girl. when that whole thing broke out, yeah, no, that worked out perfectly. Yeah. Holy moly. You would have won. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now I gotta work. Now I gotta watch my back. <laughs> yeah, that's no, no promise was made, but obviously Yanka is not one for uh, playing fair. So we could be friends, but if she wanna fight, let's go. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds like bad words to me. Um, no, y'all did. Y'all blasted that out of the water, for lack of a better less punny statement um <laughs> y'all also only explored like half the map um which is just as well because you know you went you just landed in the area with most trinkets so good on you um <laughs> um i'm glad i didn't go after eagle men out around right into that start <laughs> yeah that was that was he he he's in a tent somewhere recovering um He's, he's not doing so hot. Um, I will unveil the map for the rest of you guys and then Ooh. also post it on Twitter. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was brilliant, by the way. I love it. Yeah, that Thank was a great you. session. That was awesome. Like, fog of war. Yeah, that was great. That was, that was a lot of, like, I, I got rid of a lot of the uh, extraneous uh, paint squiggles before we started, but as you can see, this map is <laughs> fucking nonsense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow which i'll post on twitter so yeah I, I yeah i was just like oh shit but i think you pretty much encountered everything there was to encounter um you didn't like fully directly see anyone get fucked up by the uh fucked up by the uh but, but a bit, i forgot what my fish are called now um and that was the other homebrew monster Yay. Yay! Is that the one we caught so we could eat him? Yes, you have caught. You have caught some of them to eat. Ooh, yes, we're yeah. gonna eat so many good monsters. <laughs> looks like a lot of fat. Oh yes. Um. Yeah, a lot of cartilage. <laughs> yeah, Bulbiaris. Um, with the uh, with the um, bul bulby bulbousy bulbousy heads. Um, fun fact! This is like the Pokedex part in Pokemon. Uh, fun fact about the Bulbiaris. If you can befriend the Bulbiaris, they will provide a bubble of air for your head. Uh, if not, they will grapple and alert others in the area. While the lonely Bulbiaris is within 30 feet of any two creatures, it gets advantage on its attack rolls. Uh, however, without two creatures in range, it suffers disadvantage. Uh, and they can grapple creatures. So if there's a big group of them, half of them will grapple and half of them will cut you up to fucking shit. Um, yeah, so if you'd have been like, hey, pat pat, hi fish, then uh, it would be like, oh, and give you a little air bubble. <laughs> um, equally, 
the order at the beginning was the order in which I thought someone was going to get fucked up by a Bulbiaris. Um, <laughs> ah. so, Ludo, so Ludo was number one because he wants to fucking eat everything. Yeah. Um, so I was waiting for you to just be like, snitch. Fish. And then it was great because <laughs> because before, like while you were in the top of the water, Beefum was like, hey man, you should catch some of them fish to eat. I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's a really good way to get to get Ludo to die uh, <laughs> so uh, out of curiosity what would have happened if that whole fridge of holding thing didn't go well um I think you would have found out maybe in like 30 sessions time <laughs> oh <laughs> um yeah it would have seemingly all gone in there and then you would have opened your fridge up later and everything would have been gone. Oh, Please shit. be sure to and take you, that thing be... over to the shore and clean yeah, it you... out. It's going to stink. Yeah. <laughs> you'd be able to put stuff in it, but you don't, you'd don't. have no idea where it would go. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. in, in my character sheet, by the way, under inventory, apparently when you put a bag of holding in there, it counts it as like a separate backpack so you can say what's in there. Currently, I have... Uh, Cooking utensils, <laughs> four big fish, wolfernon meat, and ocean water gallon quantity five hundred. Um, yeah, you would have um, you would have approximately four hundred and fifty gallons of water in there. Yes. Yeah, to be precise, because um, I'm a good DM and I know how much sea water's in your bag of holding. <laughs> um. Yeah. Any other any other questions? Any other queries? And any other questions from chat? And thank you guys for being so hype and everything once again. Yeah. Always appreciate it. I feel like I saw a question earlier. It's a lot of water. Um, Stay hydrated. That's a lot of water. Father, you have returned. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, friend. I was like, if if friends rolls a twenty, friends is finding the trinket. <laughs> 20. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness, why is this adorable? You're adorable. Waiting for one of the trinkets to be a fish or a clam named Trinket. That would that would be very on brand for me, to be honest. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. I think. V posted think... a uh, four-picture summary of today's session. It's pretty good. Already, God damn. Did you post it on the Twitter, the X? Yeah, it's on Twitter, and I also posted the link in the uh, general chat. Yeah, I will also post um, the update of the entire map. The full map. <laughs> I love that you got the Nimona shark, specifically. <laughs> <laughs> That was, yeah, y'all just found that first one so fast, and then it was just like, BAM! 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 <laughs> that was a damn good session. Thank you very much, Keith. Yay! I hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. Big thanks very to everybody much. for coming out. Big thanks to all my yes. fellow players for being amazing. Hell You're amazing. You're amazing. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all take your inspiration points to the next game because that was that was mm. nice. I Yay. guess, I guess the question is, what do you think? What do you think? I'm going Laura Bailey. Um, oh my god, that's that is exactly what the Valentine's Day rock looks like as well. That's really funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what uh, do y'all think will be the final? I kind of think it might be a one on one, just like a straight up fight. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Possibly Interesting. taking place at night since we're starting a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Could do. Or trying to avoid night. Maybe we'll be on a time limit. 
I secretly don't have a plan and I'm just... No, it's... no I have a plan. <laughs> I'm, just... I'm genuinely curious what you guys... What do you We're going to fight a giant basilisk. Oh, shit. Well, I did say look Specific. away. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And then we're gonna cook it. Yes. In what fridge? We're gonna have the feast Your of the three trials. <gasps> the feast of the three trials. Feast of the three trials. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is such a cool fucking name. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. So we've got maybe a nighttime timer. Maybe 1v1. Maybe just dead ass puzzles. Mm -hmm. Or probably yes. some homebrew, crazy basilisk esque type thing. What? You like? Oh, you'd never. We. You'd never. <laughs> be, Friends be assumes his true form and like <laughs> becomes this incredibly <laughs> overpowered overlord and like spouts a bunch of <laughs> minions. <laughs> Just goes. Arch demon. <laughs> I am enemies oh, oh, oh. all along. <laughs> 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 But he still talks like that. <laughs> but it's like a demon. <laughs> that I could actually see that being slightly scary. Just in like a corridor on your own. Just then you don't know what's around and you just say, It's like, oh, hello. What's that? Nothing. The daemon. That's the diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much for all the support once again. Thank you, uh, who posted all the... Scorpio! Thank you, Scorpio, for posting all the links! Yee. We appreciate you! Yeah, you can check out the coffee if you want to get a car uh, your own character all up in here. Luca is is V's character that they brought into the game because they were going to have a whole side quest last time, but then you, you all decided not to steal the dress, so I was like, oh, all right, well, I guess i got to find somewhere else. For oh, it. that was Luca? Oh, my God, I give, I had a whole conversation with you and it just blew my head entirely. I didn't realize that was Luca the whole time. Oh, my God. <laughs> I bonked Luca. Oh, no. <laughs> v, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is a risk if you if you uh, name an NPC or create a character for this series that they will die very quickly, very dramatically, potentially get ripped apart by a shark. You know, potentially. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that us. if that one was also someone in the chat, and we totally beat them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, yeah, so uh, this was two sisters. They decided to treat themselves. Uh, they've been having a rough time. <laughs> they wanted to be... For, like, the little... least drunk, more well-behaved groups on, on the island, we are kind of a menace, actually. <laughs> nah, but y'all are the Spilling best. things on people, knocking people in the head, stealing <laughs> shit. No, so, to clarify, spilling things on person. <laughs> <laughs> She was in it for 10 minutes and just, just, mm, no, hey, for, no. for really? one spot in the forest that just stinks of rotten sausage. <laughs> for really, for really real, if things continue with Umberlai, uh, I'm kind of considering having Ludo take a level in Sorcerer so you can have uh, Prestidigitation. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, I'm not, I'm not going to stop spilling things on you, but I can at least clean it up. <laughs> 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 You know, that's that's a green flag in my book. It's you know, it's being aware of yourself, it's knowing who you are and it's saying, you know, I don't know if I can change this. I will try, but I will do everything in my power to make up for it when I can, maybe. <laughs> it's a fair <laughs> use of a level. Yeah, I may not I mean, be able to stop you, but I will avenge you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is that is the question on every uh, gossip magazine in uh, Ash Sky's lips. Like, what's what's going on with Ludo and Umberlie? Are they a, are they a thing? And sub article: What is baby cheeks? <laughs> and why are they always dirty? <laughs> <laughs> Did she vomit when her love came to hug her? <laughs> Find out on page four. <laughs> That's I'm very red. curious to see where that uh, where that relationship goes, if that relationship goes. <laughs> I kind of love it. You're very yeah. different. I kind of love it and can see it lasting forever. I can kind of see Ludus being, all right, well, this was fun. Bye-bye. No, he wouldn't. Maybe. I don't know. 
I'm learning more about Ludo. I'm learning about Ludo at just the same time as y'all are. So he makes his own <laughs> That's the beauty of D and D, honestly, because it's like you plan the character out, and you're like, "Yeah, I've got this really cool concept for it." And then you get in session one, it's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be the sweetest. I'm like just this little tabaxi guy. I'm like just super sweet." And it's like, "Hi, DM. I would like to steal off that person." It's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And it's like, "I don't know. It just feels right, man. I don't know what to say." <laughs> I don't know what to say. Stop <laughs> just... describing your Kingdom Come playthrough. Oh my god. <laughs> you're oh, you're so right. No, because I do have that character in D and D. Shout out Monty Fun Buns if you're still there. Um, very patient with me. Uh, I've decided to enter my area of exploring my uh, chaotic neutral side from D and D characters, <laughs> which nice. feels feels very out of character for me, but it's very fun. I mean, one of them is technically chaotic evil, but um, she's great. I love her. And, uh, yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna play, like, a little cute tabaxi sauce. Like, they're a rogue, but they just dress like a sorcerer. Uh -huh. And they have, like, a big sorcerer hat, and they're really cool, cool and cute, and they do magic tweaks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then the first fight we got into, uh, they just hid really well, and then just literally walked over to the, to the boss and then stabbed them with sneak attack and then just walked back over to their hiding spot and just crouched and just kept doing that every fucking round like really casually. <laughs> it was so mad because I kept hitting really well. <laughs> I was just like, that's ridiculous. Like I've done a whole boss fight sitting down with that character. I just sat on a bench, <laughs> but I still did mad be. damage. Yeah. And then we got a new character added, <laughs> and I was like, today, he's just gonna try and get as much free shit as he can. And he sees that this new guy's drinking wine, but he's like really depressed, so he's like, oh, do you want me to hold that for you? And he's like, yes, please. And he's telling his story, and he's like, hey, do you want, do you want this back? And he's like, no, you can keep it. He's like, sweet, free wine. <laughs> <laughs> like just the whole time is but he's too he has a wish spell he got a wish spell within the first two sessions of us playing like he's he's too much it's great i love dd dd's great i love dd yes. <laughs> it's it's so it is really fun discovering who your characters are which I, I think is why it's important to have like a longer introduction because you you have i don't know i feel like you have that time to be like oh this is a thing oh this is a thing. Like, <laughs> kind of figure out where you're going with it. You have that room to just breathe and open open up the blinds and be like, oh, yes. I guess I am a psychopath. Cool. Look, I was very surprised that Beef <laughs> was as upset as he was with Yanka. Yeah! That wasn't me. I just, He did that. <laughs> no, that was cool. That was super cool. And, like, even as a DM, I was like, man, that would be so fucked up. But she, but she would, she would do that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and then I was like, I felt bad doing it. And then I was like, enjoying playing her doing it. I was like, no, that's bad. No, don't. She's a bad lady. <laughs> but, yeah. but then y'all, y'all did a heroic thing, which is why I was like, yeah, beat her ass. <laughs> mm. But I think, I think my favorite moment from today. There were many. It was a very good session. Uh, probably a Loro, a Loro shot going. Hey, <laughs> can I can I talk to the shark? Yes. Yeah, the hey. casual hey. <laughs> when, when I was like, can I talk to him? And he's like, yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> just sounded so like good. he had something so profound to say. That and moment. Just like, yeah. Awesome. Uh, hey. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. <laughs> well, well, what about y'all? What are your favorite moments? <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's probably the highlight. Definitely. Hey. Shark Luro. Shark Luro. Shark Luro. Yeah. Shark Luro wins. Yeah. Also, Life I up. like. When Darian rode me out. <laughs> Wait, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. yeah, thank you everybody for making things work. I kept wanting certain yeah. things to happen. I'm like, because I, 
I was actually going to come over and ask you if I could get a ride somewhere. <laughs> 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 I was too far away from you guys. It was just like, ah, oh, man. And every single time I had a good idea, somebody managed to do it in some way. And I was like, ah, oh, yes, yeah. so good. Also the pain of D&D. &D. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a very good team. <laughs> very, very tight teamwork. The fact that I could just picture like everyone just standing up, like you weren't sitting down, but just standing up when Yanka did the shit. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> she's in trouble now. I think that was also a highlight for me. Just, just beef on just grabbing this bitch. <laughs> and just drop it. <laughs> I was going to say the thing that I like is everybody is like creative solutions to everything. That's probably the least mm. creative I've been. <laughs> no, but it was, it was at a very, poignant time because if you're like trying to craft some shit it's like nah you haven't got time this bitch is about to hand that in like you need to just be like boom put it down bitch get the fuck out of here don't like you get out no <laughs> no <laughs> stop it <laughs> yes yes V Tarquin giving the finger yes. that was beautiful such oh, a good build up to that moment <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, it was all good and it was all fair until some people started attacking us, and that's mm. that's just not cool. So y'all were just too good at finding the trinkets. Like those bitches were purely there to just steal it off other people. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I liked uh, I liked Tarquin kind of risen up Luca at the beginning. That was nice. Yeah. <laughs> Tarquin jar. Yeah. She clearly had a crush. So, yeah, <laughs> we needed some potions. And... Actually, <laughs> actually recognized Tarquin. Oh right, right. Yeah, I that that say. got her a couple of points. At least three <laughs> Tarquin points. That is the third person to recognize Tarquin. Three Tarquin points. My God. Yeah. Once many, you get to fifty, you get a reward. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> now I'm very curious about the sirens. That was that was yeah. a nice little moment too. So that you was know what's cool. really funny about that? Um you joked last week, JC, after we finished the stream, you were like, man, like, imagine if there's like a whole ocean kingdom under there. And I was like, having like a mini crisis because i was like <laughs> no dead ass there is <laughs> like it's already <laughs> it's already been in existence like it's 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 tied into the world how the fuck like <laughs> how did you do that <laughs> <laughs> it's called the ashen atoll and there's gonna be a merfolk there that you might see how did you know <laughs> i do it i do it i do it oh i don't like that you were too smart i need to up my game <laughs> Yeah, okay. that's that's good on both of y'all. Like Aluro keeps having these really cool little druid moments. It's kind of yeah. awesome. Because I figured, like, if it was any of you in your human form, they'd be like, no, and just Scarpa, the word of the day, Scarpa is like it. Um, right. Damn. What is Scarpa? I was hell, man. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> um, but I was like, nah, Shark Loro. <laughs> I need that on a shirt, just nah, shark lore. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was like, yeah, they're, they're probably cooler with fucking sharks than they are people, so I'm not gonna be that alarmed. No, no, like, Out here touching minute. the veil, talking to animals and stuff, it's great. Some druid shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> not even purposeful. No, it's just great. I just love every I love it. I know you're gonna be like, hey, can I talk to friends real quick? <laughs> Even if you're just like, hey, how, are you, how are you doing today, friends? It's like, is that all you're gonna fucking ask? <laughs> pull, you're gonna pull this voice out for no reason! <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> it's allowed. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to enable. <laughs> but yes. I hope you guys enjoyed and chat. Please keep sending us all the memes and the and the summaries and predictions and everything. I love the summaries so much. Thank you very much for doing those, V. <laughs> it was great. So good. So the, the, good. The shark, the shark shades and the Valentine's Day rock. <laughs> the Nimona shark. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, 
but yes, um, we will be back next week, hopefully. Yes. Uh, with more. Uh, we've kind of reached the edge of my plans, so I'm gonna have to have a hardcore, hardcore D and D montage planning day. Um, yeah. Do it on okay. stream so I can lurk and learn all the secrets. Um, no, I'm not gonna just do be like, okay, guys, so I'm preparing <laughs> this fight that's happening next week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Um, and yeah. Feel free to support all of the wonderful players we got uh, in order of um, didn't die by fish, which is no one died by fish, so everyone's cool. Hey. Um, we have a Laurel played by Nai. What? What? <laughs> we, have... <laughs> we have Bifon played by... <laughs> played by Dai. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> we have Luto played by <laughs> JC. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, we have Tarquin played by Darian Norio. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> incredible, incredible. <laughs> um, and yes, I have been. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself again. Oops. Um, hi, I'm Key. Um, I'm also here. Uh, <laughs> and yes, be sure to check out everyone's profile, see what they're getting up to. They're doing all the stuff all week long, so check it out. I know we had a couple of uh, character naming, namings slash uh, character sheet art slash stuff uh, raffled off to help to help Luto get a new home. Um, so Ooh. we'll be, we'll hopefully be in touch with you, uh, the next couple of days. We have not forgotten you. You are not forgotten. Um, but if that sounds fun and you're like, wait, I want a character sheet and a character to go in the series and also have art for it. Uh, you can check out the text adventure coffee, um, where that is an option that you can do and it will support the series. Yes. Um, yeah. Any, any, any last words? I never know a better way to say that. Happy, Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy chicken noodle soup Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, no. Chicken noodle soup has never been sadder. But yes, much love. Stay safe. Look after yourselves. And we'll see you next time. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye.